My mom told me not to talk to strangers on the internet, but I'm glad I didn't listen. We are the Certified Nunas, your sisters in the love of Asian entertainment. Hi, I'm Amanda. I'm Jessie. I'm Jelia. And I'm Sky. And that's right. It's that time again for everyone's favorite episode for some reason. I still don't know why everyone loves it. <laughs> I know we do all this work on the other episodes I'm, and then you're like, I like this one. I'm like, oh, like, okay. okay. Well, I, I mean, mean I'm glad we're, right. glad you do. we're glad you do. Yeah, we're, we're uh, glad yeah. you listen. <laughs> this one's an easy, this one's an easy one for us. And we gl- we're glad that you like listening. That's right. It's the what we're watching episode. Woo. The once a month-ish episode where we come and Ish. tell you what we've had our eyeballs upon since the last time we chatted. And as always, we have no idea who's going in what order. So we have Siri here as a special guest. (laughs) She comes about once a month. (laughs) All right. Hey, Siri, give me a number between one and four. Okay, she's not going to talk, but it's one. Okay. Okay, so that's Amanda. Okay. Okay. Give me a number between one and four. We got four, so Sky. Okay, right. okay. Give me a number between one and four. Oh, Jesse, oh. it's between you and me, Jesse. Give me a number between one and four. <laughs> just say pick two or <laughs> between three. Between two and just three. Say, say, <laughs> give me a number between one and two. Okay, so one, which would be me. Okay, we're there. We go. <laughs> you forced it. We did it. We did it. We did so, it. so what? So what's the order? Amanda, me, Amanda, Jesse, you, Jesse, Natalia. It's in the it, order. It, it look at your screen. Look it should be in the in order. The oh, order. I moved it. We're I fancy now. Yeah, we. Oh, fancy <laughs> new technology. Look at that technologically who's listening to us right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually. Since you can, we can download the video. We could just clip this part. That's true. <laughs> Anybody is opposed to that? I don't know. <laughs> like yeah, a like, rough. It's like I, 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 I on top. We are all living in a pandemic time. We all look a little rough. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> like, true. Just to be honest with ourselves. I mean, if you can't love us at this date, then you know, don't if even. You can't love to us at our recording. You won't love us at our live stream. <laughs> <laughs> if you if you can't love us at our twenty twenty two. You, you shouldn't love us at our 2018 or whatever. Right. Yeah, yeah. I was actually recently looking at photos of myself from 2018. I looked so young and full of life. Uh, <laughs> I think we all I looked did. like I still believed in things in 2018. <laughs> yeah. I looked like I was having a great time. Uh, 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 <laughs> so anyway, Amanda, what have you been watching? Well, I mean, for starters, I've watched a couple of movies. I watched uh, Pirates 2, finally. I still haven't watched the first Pirates, so I'm going to go do that <laughs> eventually. But we had a watch along with my movie club. So it How did you fun. like it? I thought it was, it was fun. fun. I enjoyed it. Like, mm. it, it did what it... I it did what it we were watching it as part of our romance movie club, and the romance is a little lacking. So I maybe in say. that context, like, it didn't do what it was supposed to do. No, but... like well, it never like I the advertisements weren't weird. particularly romantic. No, so. Well, I mean, like in the context of it being in a romance, romance. like romance, yeah, romance. exactly. <laughs> no, and it, it wasn't so much that the romance was bad. Exactly, just that it was like Kang Hill was. He did a great job with the character. But his character was kind of annoying and dumb. And, like, mm-hmm. she was phenomenal. And, like, you're like, you can do better than this. Like, on your pirate ship, you can do better than <laughs> yeah, this. Yeah, right? literally there are better options amongst <laughs> the, you know. Like, hmm, okay. Well, the same anyway, sort of follows but, from the first one, too. That was kind of the vibe of the first one as yeah. well. That she was way too good for him in every <laughs> conceivable way. So... But otherwise, I mean, it was fun, you know, treasure and pirates and fight. The fight scenes were really well done. Fantastic. Like, the and the soundtrack? Were great. Chef's kiss. Yeah. Yeah. How, how did you feel about the plot? Um, Not too bad. I think partially because you guys had said that, you know, there was some back and forth and stuff. So I was watching for it. I was ready mm-hmm. for it. I didn't find it too difficult to follow what i thought would have been better if they have to have a romance in there i would have really really liked the evil um who was the actor sang i think Mm. was the actor i would have loved him to be like 
her ex lover or something, something like and they were like they have a connection in for the somewhere. you know like that would have been cooler because he seemed like a better in every know. conceivable <laughs> way yeah yeah like, yeah like, pretty so much every was, every know. member every every single character was better than king and Hill's character in there was every not nearly way. enough of like silent say like he was very good like um you very know like cool. there was just there was there was lots of good stuff it's I will say cool. that there was something that I there was like a, a sort of a theme of a, of a single scene that they carried through between both that I thought was quite funny in the first movie one of the pirates has to explain to people who've never been to the ocean what a whale is <laughs> and then in this <laughs> one they had Kyung Soo explaining to people who've never seen a penguin what a penguin is what a penguin is yeah. <laughs> it's just like, like pretty oh, good comedy like just well pretty contextually he didn't know what a penguin really yeah, was either. either. So he yeah. had just first seen the penguin and then had to describe to everyone else what he had just seen. And then being like, what the fuck are you talking and about? Like, are you, did you hit penguin. your head? Are you crazy? <laughs> yeah, there were they a were... lot of penguins. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, was, it, was... it kind of felt like a happy feet moment, really. <laughs> yeah, it was a questionable amount of penguins. Uh -huh. I'm going to be honest. The, um... The CGI for the animals was good though. Like mm. it was, it was good. There was a lot of it, and it, it was pretty good. Like it, yeah, it was the effect. You know, it. the giant whale looked really cool. The jellyfish scene was gorgeous. Like there's the a lot of money put into them special effects. So mm -hmm. good for them. Mm -hmm. I also watched um, Turning Red, which mm. is not you know, it's Asian adjacent. I yeah, guess. Nice. I mean, it yeah. is Asian, cool. Asian yeah. Canadian. As a Canadian, I enjoyed aspects of it. Somebody who grew up in the Toronto area, um, there were a lot of things I recognized and stuff. I mean, I was not 12 in 2002. Um, <laughs> I was married at that point, but, um, you know. I, I, <laughs> you were 12 so once, things. okay? Yeah, you knew 12-year-olds in some respect. 12. So, yeah, like, it, it was very... I think I watched it with my 10 year old. I think I enjoyed it more than he did. He really liked the stuff with the big panda. He thought that was super cool. Mm -hmm. um, very exciting. A lot of the stuff in the middle kind of dragged for him. Like it was mm. sort of like, okay, they're trying to make money um, to see a boy <laughs> band. Like, I don't care. Right. He, he at one point looks at me and goes, um, I'm really not enjoying this movie. I'm like, okay, but <laughs> like, we're just going to finish it. Like I'm, I'm going yeah, too far and now. He <laughs> really enjoyed the, la the last chunk of it. There's, you know, a whole thing mm -hmm. that happens and he enjoyed that. So, um, there's been lots of talk on the internet about appropriateness, oh inappropriateness, okay. all this will. stuff. I will. I will say, okay, it's an obvious, in some senses, an obvious metaphor for puberty and menstruation and stuff mm -hmm. in this concept. But the actual period talk where her mother thinks she's gotten her period and like, make sure her kid has pads is like maybe five minutes max of the whole movie like i think people are a and little, like that's pretty normal like it's yeah just and people are sad. a little ridiculous about it because i hate to say this but 11 to 14 year olds deserve to have movies that are made for yeah, them too yeah, right? <laughs> and like this is all like some like special <laughs> thing that only like one in like a million get like no like right? this is the it's this not is, unique to from what i'm from what i'm it's, yeah from what i'm gathering this is a pretty standard 12 to 14 year old experience for yeah, 12 to 14 yeah, year old like, girls so like um yeah nice try. I, the, I mean the, like, like my oh, 10 year my, old my five-year-old like it was inappropriate well then obviously it wasn't made for your five-year-old yeah like my 10 like, year old was like not into it and he didn't know he didn't understand like the scene when the the mom comes running in with the arm full of stuff and is like all panicked he's like why is she panicking what's going on she thinks her period started oh and that's all the stuff. Yeah. Okay. Like, yeah. that was it. That was the conversation yeah. we Calm had. Down. It was Calm not, I mean, Chill you out. know, Chill there out. was no trauma involved. It just was life because that's, There's, there was life, no problem. You know? it's all racism. <laughs> yeah. It's all racism. Not like that's literally all it is. I want to say just for, for me. So I watched it by myself. Oh, yeah. And um, I, because I didn't think my husband would want to watch it just because I didn't ask him. I just assumed it wasn't going to be something that he was into. And so I showed him the trailer later on just because it was cute. 
And he was like, oh, I want to watch that. And he assumed I hadn't seen it. I was like, no, bud, like, I've watched it. And he goes, oh, well, I need to go watch it by myself. He was like, all, he was all gung-ho for it. Well, and- if he wants to join our Discord, I'll watch it with him. I'll watch it with him, too. <laughs> Come well, on in, Eric. We, we, the water's we. fine. He has, he has watched it now, and he really, really enjoyed it. It's fine. Jesse, Jesse, Jesse okay. I'll watch it with you. <laughs> <laughs> My <laughs> husband stayed in the room while we were watching it, too. And I just thought he, like, he was kind of on his phone and doing stuff. Mm-hmm. I didn't think he was really paying attention. But when it was over, he was like, I'm not sure I've ever watched a, like sort of a big budget like Disney, Pixar, anything like that level big budget that was so Canadian before. Mm-hmm. Like he was that's what he got out of it. It wasn't about that. It was about 12 year old girls or or Asian no, just kids very it Canadian. Was about the fact that it was Canadian. And there was like Tim Hortons in the Sky Dome and like things that he recognized, and it, but just there. Yeah. The kids wearing a Canadian flag toque and there's, it, it's all just there. It wasn't like they weren't making a big deal about it. It mm-hmm. was just, she was Canadian. So there was Canadian things around and it was like, I, oh, I've been, cool. So for Eric, like I, I went and checked on him and he was done with it and he was watching the like behind the scenes, like how they made it and oh, stuff. Yeah. He was having he enjoyed a, it. I was like, you must have really liked it. He goes, yeah, I really liked that. But he was like, Awesome. Aww. I've been enjoying the the people reminiscing about the cringy stuff they did when they were like, <laughs> yeah. like, like the fan fake. The yeah, the fan 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 fan. Oh like the God. drawings. I've, yeah. I've been enjoying oh the hell out of it. It's like, yeah, you know, they say like I keep reading all these people that say it was, you know, twelve year olds aren't like this, but when I was twelve, I wrote a Lord of the Rings fan fiction where Legolas was in love with me, and then also Aragorn was also in love with me, and they both fought for my love. Love, so <laughs> I am crazy. I also had I am free. Baxter boys and NSYNC at that time too. So it like we yeah, all it's had very it. Very on brand. Very like, universal. Did you like, block yeah, yeah. For me, like there yeah. Was, yeah, yeah. So anyway, it was cute, and yeah, if you haven't watched it, and you have Check access, no, go, go for it. I'm still watching forecasting love and weather. I think I'm almost caught up on it because I'm a few episodes behind. You know, I, I am watching. caught up. I mean, I don't know how many episodes are There's out. There's 10, 10 right now. Yeah. Okay. I oh, think wow. I just finished nine. So yeah, time has flown. I, I know it did. Yeah. I like I went back to it and I was like, oh, I haven't watched this in a really long time. And so yeah. I, like a sl- I was like, ah, oh, now I got to binge because it's exactly. an easy binge too. And I was like, it is. is. As soon as, as, soon as you hear those words, now I got to binge. It's just like, yeah. 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 I can just sit yeah. here and like not, you know, you don't have to really invest in that show. Mm-hmm. But like, yeah, <laughs> it's, fine. yeah it's, I mean, it's light and the weather stuff is kind of interesting and I don't know. It's cool. You're learning more um, about weather by I osmosis am. through the show than you ever knew <laughs> yeah, you and would. Like, smaller things too, like the smaller details. I'm actually mm-hmm. like really liking those like little moments, like mm-hmm. where they're like, okay, this is what this person actually does, and it's not what you know of yeah. in your like yeah. knowledge of you know meteorologists and stuff like that. And I like that part. I also just really like office dramas because they kind of there's always a break for me personally mm-hmm. from like the the main couple because there's always like Mm -hmm. the work break and that's just like it's perfect because i can you know go back and with this one it's you know people who are really like passionate about their work too so it kind of like even when they're like in couplings they're like i'm talking about weather and you can tell that they're like just a big dorks about weather like that's Mm -hmm. really (laughs) what they are yeah (laughs) yeah it's cute it's good i Mm. i like that i like the side characters i like Mm. i mean not the you know evil <laughs> side character but even them like the ex-boyfriend is yun park's a great actor he's just a great he actor is. And, he like, is. He it's is not so his fault over okay. the top like evil and stupid in this that you're just like he's, he's incompetently he's evil so, he's like, incompetent but like also he you can tell he's kind of in like a break like a breaking point in his just mm-hmm. life he's like kind of spiraling in a way mm-hmm. then you get that in the show yeah yeah so it's it's good i dig it um mm-hmm. 39 i'm i think oh. i'm really behind in right now like i i just caught up i don't I'm know why like watch them, <laughs> i was kind but, of in oh. like a bad mood today and so then you thought so, was I was gonna be like, the best. Yeah, I'm gonna go watch 39 <laughs> for some. The really sad <laughs> mellow, sure. <laughs> and it's so good. Like it's so I am good. Up to, I haven't watched these like this week's 
pair, which mm-hmm. I'll probably watch tonight or something, but I, I really didn't like watch it. last week's pair yet either. So mm-hmm. I've got a lot of a lot of sad, sad times in my mm-hmm. future. You have so. no idea. No, you have <laughs> literally <What>? no idea. <laughs> this is that... not a spoiler, but like the relationship between the main character and the male lead's uh, sister, his adopted mm-hmm. sister. I, I freaking love it. It's I can't so get over it. It's so good. Like the way that she zeroes in on people and their mm-hmm. discomfort and like yeah. genuinely the way she that like um she like genuinely like takes care of them immediately. Mm-hmm. It's just it's, it's so good. nice to watch. It's so it good. is. My family has left the house for the night. They left a day early. So they've gone and I have the house to myself tonight. So I can just, you know, put it on and have a glass of wine and you know, cry my eyeballs. (laughs) Prepare. Like have have you cried Natalia? Huh? Have you cried Natalia? No, I haven't. It was close. But But you got close. This this isn't on the level of this is not going to happen. happen, Okay. (laughs) And it, I don't and, think there can be a drama that like beats Move to Heaven. No, honestly. for like emotion. Yeah, and, like I, I feel like you would think that this would make me cry as like an adopted person, but my adopted story is vastly good. different <laughs> yeah, from yeah. what is being yeah. shown here. So I'm just like, oh, <laughs> these are bad adoptive parents. Okay. Like, <laughs> yeah. Yikes. Yikes. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, but goddamn, <laughs> like the show. I'm looking oh. forward to it. And then like the story, the story with like the married guy. Oh. Yeah, that has a lot more oh, layers. There's that. so many it's layers going on. If you there's were worried so about that, I think like Don't that's starting to resolve itself, mm-hmm. and you kind of see more, and you get the yeah. greater picture of that. Yeah. So if that was something that you were wearing, no. if you watched no, the, I, you I mean, know, the first two or gotten- something. So many past to it. some of the big reveals in that one, I think, unless there's new big reveals. But yeah, like it's it's just like you said, layers. Like there's just layers of characters, layers of story. Mm-hmm. But that's good. so nice because that's yes. humans. That's like yeah. Yeah. reality. Yeah. And I was actually telling my mom about the show because I was like, you know what's really cool about it is that all three of the actresses are 39 years old yeah in the show about 39 year old women and they're also different too yeah. like they like mm-hmm. i know that like you know sometimes when you have like friend groups a lot of people are like the same but like there are those like really drastically different like mm-hmm. friend groups where that that's mm-hmm. how they became friends because they were so like polar they all complimented each other of, yeah. they filled in they, yeah. they all fill in like that blanks that the yeah, other and one I feel like have. it just does some really good things. Like I saw someone was complaining about how the one girl is kind of like left out, and I was like, "Well, you obviously were the favorite in your group friend group, but right? I don't yeah. know how many friend groups I've been in where it's mm-hmm. like there always is like the one it's person always out. a three girl <laughs> friend group because somebody always has to be left out. Yeah, and yeah. it's just like that's a yeah, realistic that's thing, and they put it are, in, right? and I was like. like Okay, I yeah. like this, and especially it's with her. Not like a malicious movie. No, and it's no, sort of no, like, no. yet she exists, and they're like, "Oh shit, we got to bring her in. Like, yeah. we got to yeah. bring her up to speed on everything going on." But like, I, with genuine love, they genuinely. But love. I mean that 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 is literally you can see that that's one of her fears, right? Like, yeah. if am mm-hmm. I going to be left out? If you know, if yeah. the third is gone, are you? going to cling to me or are we just gonna fall apart right mm-hmm. like it's it's layers it's, layers the show is an onion so many layers it's very yeah. very good it's the shrek of uh, shows okay <laughs> so, many, so many layers um what else have i watched oh i started being melodramatic finally oh, i've been wanting no. to watch it since it That's aired been on my like, list for a while no. so the first episode i found a little slow it's very set up right so mm. it's how the whole thing comes around so it's about three best friends who live together. Uh, their one friend, like this is all first episode set up. Their one friend directed a documentary and it became wildly popular and she became like a millionaire or billionaire or something. So she like bought a super nice place where she lives with her brother and her her boyfriend that helped her to make this documentary and everything. And then he got real sick and he died and she tried to kill herself Hmm. and her brother found her and went i I 
can't watch her 24 seven. I have to go to work. Like I can't. So he called her friends and her friends said, I'm coming over for the weekend or I'm coming over. And then they all just moved in doing their thing. And they all work in the like movie industry. And all. so you kind of get all that set up, taken care of in the first mm-hmm. episode. And then you mm-hmm. move forward. So it's weird. It's quirky. I, I'm only like two episodes in, but I like it. I the first episode I was like, everybody talks about this show as like being so yeah, good. I've heard and it, I'm like, really not seeing it yet. But then like yeah, I'm getting I, it better. I think now. I only made it to episode one back when it was airing. And it was yeah. fine, but like I think it, it it's probably takes a few it, episodes to get yeah, going. Yeah. It, it yeah, because they really do throw all the setup into that first episode so it, it, and it felt like a lot like that first it episode was. felt like a lot, a lot it's so because it's kind of all told from the one friend's perspective and she's like and this is my friend and then you see all of their story leading up until yeah. this point mm-hmm. and this is my other friend and here's all of her story leading up till this point and then you know it, it's just like oh okay that's that, that'll lot. be interesting like, you watching a show like that along with watching like 39, 39 like, yeah mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. i'm not Where saying that they're the same but as far time. as far yeah. as having you know three that, and all the stories and stuff yeah like, and i again this is i think first episode or maybe just the beginning of second episode set up but um the one who tried to kill herself talks to her dead boyfriend she sees him he's in the apartment he lives with her mm-hmm. he goes shopping with her he's always around and they all know and they have just chosen to ignore it they're like she's hmm. if this is what she needs to do to cope well no, i would no, love no, no, because no, it's no, korean no, 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 you know no, no. like <laughs> i would love if he actually was there you know what i mean like korean stuff has ghost stories i would love it if they if he just the ghost was actually there and because she almost died now she can ghosts like that would kind of like and not it's not a supernatural drama it just yeah he's she's yeah, just that would be having a mental cool. breakdown and right. instead of saying yeah. we should just put up with this they should yeah. get her therapy yeah but, <laughs> yeah. Know, yeah yeah <laughs> so i have a feeling that that's gonna be you know it's gonna get dealt with at some point that's got to come to a head right and mm-hmm. yeah um i finished up a a webtoon from last, or not webtoon, a web drama from last year called Pumpkin Time. Sports. Right. Sports. Yeah. Um, it's, surprise, so it's surprise, a, surprise. These two kids and they play baseball together and they love each other. They're best friends. They do everything together. And the one is a catcher and the other is a pitcher. So they like work as a team. And the catcher's dad decides that he has a better chance at being a pro baseball player if they move to the States. So they're moving to the States. And they, the day before he moves to the States, they go to this like magic forest. And if you hold your hands out and <laughs> make a wish, then a leaf will land in your hand. And that means your wish will come true. So the catcher does it, nothing. The pitcher does it, leaf lands in his hand. Ooh, is your wish going to come true? I don't know. I guess we'll find out tomorrow. Tomorrow comes, Catcher's family moves away, and he never hears from his friend, the pitcher, again. Fast forward to, like, the end of, you know, it's the last year of high school or whatever, and he's like, listen, before I go to college, before I accept any of these, like, farm team offers, anything like that, I got to go back to Korea, find out what happened to my friend. Comes back to Korea, finds a high school that has a baseball team because my buddy is going to still be playing baseball. He might not be at that high school, but my team will play against him. I'll find him somehow. So the main character is the friend who got left behind. He woke up the next morning, went to the bathroom, stood in front of the toilet and started screaming because his penis was gone. He was no longer a boy. He was a girl. (laughs) It is never fully explained exactly what the wish was that he made, but that clearly was not the wish that he made because <laughs> he was not excited about this. What's so oh. funny? What's so funny? Trans. Trans. Was just... I, had, I had read the synopsis of this. The way the synopsis sounded was like it's as if the kid the kids were young and they they were close friends and maybe like the girl had a haircut or something yeah. to wear. Well, and then surprise. And, and, and then, yeah. And then so like comes back and then like, 
oh no, my friend's a girl type thing. Because you know that happens in drama. Yeah. So like yeah. that's that's, that's really a classic just, caper. <laughs> that was the gist of the synopsis. It is different with the magic tree and the changing body thing. <laughs> so what you wind up getting basically is a really good allegory for like a the trans experience. Mm. And you get it from kind of both perspectives. So you've got this boy who feels trapped in a girl's body and this isn't my body but i'm in it and i have to be in it and this is how i have to live you've got the one aspect of the trans experience where it's like this isn't my body but i'm stuck in it and then Mm. you've got the other aspect the post transition of what happens if people find out what if Mm. you know what if i get outed what if you know every kid at school finds out that i used to be a boy and what is that going to do to me Like, it sounds heavy, but it's really not. Like, it's all very light. It's very sweet. It's very good. I really enjoyed it. And, you know, sports. 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 And then I am also apparently on my boss boss romance thing (laughs) right now. So I've got, you know, forecasting love and weather has a boss romance um, a Nuna boss romance. I'm also watching Why Women Love, which is a Chinese drama about boss Nuna romance. That's really cute. Uh, well, okay. The first half is really cute. I've hit a point where uh, yes, it looks like turn. it's going to the the turn. turn. It's turning yeah. into an office how they, drama. That's right? how they like, get you. That's how they get you. And it, yeah. it's kind of, again, and maybe I'm needlessly worrying, but I'm concerned because sort of the bad guy is her old boss who went away on maternity leave and got replaced and there's no position for her now in the company. And I'm like, I don't, you know, I don't feel like that's, I don't want to dislike her because that's so, and especially when the big boss, the like owner of the company is a woman yeah, and a parent and kiss, kiss, kiss. You know, you're like, hey. So I'm kind of like, maybe it can be not that. Maybe they're just setting it up to look like that. But right now it looks like she's done some shady stuff to be allowed back into the company kind of thing. So Mm. I'm like, meh. But the romance is really, really cute. The guy in it is adorable. And he's, um, he's really good. Like, he's really good as an actor. He was a winner of a Chinese, like, idol contest kind of thing he's uh in a a boy group called bbt or btt i can't remember and he's got a great voice he sings in one of the scenes like you know does a whole thing it's very cute it's nice because it's very upfront. like he doesn't pine for a while or anything i'm kind of surprised like we're only about halfway through the drama the whole initial thing that gets them hanging out is that she is the director of a company, a tech company that has is launching this new love app, like a dating app. And he is, has come to start working for her because his mom has made him. His mom is the owner of the company. And she's like, you need to settle down and have a real job. You can't ride motorcycles for the rest of your life. That, 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 Why whatever. not? That sounds like you know. a really fun way to live. <laughs> sounds like a really Why fun not? way to die uh, if you have a way. Well, this is the thing. His, <laughs> if he does, then he doesn't have to worry about what to do with his life anymore. <laughs> right? <laughs> so he races motorcycles. Um, he's apparently quite good at it. His well, yeah. best friend. Well, he's still alive, so he yeah, it's, it's, it's yeah. gotta be <laughs> so, <laughs> the key. His, his best friend was in a motorcycle accident. Of course, had a head injury. Yeah, and can't afford like his his mom can't afford to put him in hospitals and stuff. So he can. His mom can. He knows his mom has pull with hospitals and stuff. Basically, his mother blackmails him that he has to come back home, work for the company. And if he does that, then she will make sure that his best friend gets the medical care that he needs. And I'm like, you are a terrible human being. I am sorry, but oh my goodness. <laughs> you know, I always love I I always love this plot that comes up where it's like, you know, the rich CEO parent is like, Yeah, you can't, you know, do what you love. You have to come home and work for the family. Do you think you're going to be getting a really good employee this way? Like a really dedicated employee? I, like if I would you also probably them? like do like, something like be constantly recording everything you do and then take you down. Like, <laughs> yeah, like 
Because it's, it's pretty easy way to, to take someone down people now. And like, you. and it's like, what? What if they're bad at that job? No. Like, they're just gonna fuck up your no. business. Like, it's fun. How you like? Yeah, just giving uh, people like those like positions, those boss positions. You're like, something. Else. One of the other people at the company are probably much better and could like get you much yes. more profit. Again, first people don't day. want more money. I guess. Basically, his first. Hey, at the office, he almost tanks the launch of their yeah yeah thing see because see? they're doing a live stream, and he is pissed off because he's been you know and he's trying to get fired right so if I get fired then I can just say to mom oh I got see, fired proving right? my point this is a bad so, plot yeah. this is a bad plot so and you has, know that parents actually do this shit right no know, you do you yeah work for the family company. Like, you're not going to get a good employee if you're going to force them to come work at the family well, company. Right. And then all the other employees, they're like, no, they resent it. Them. Yeah. yeah. They hate and it. they don't know you, like, initially. Good they don't know that leaving. he's mom, like the son. So he's just getting treated like everybody else. Oh, yeah, parents, bullshit. Some, you know, whatever, that, right? You know, you know what? Like, he's not because he won't get fired. <laughs> so and that's he the does, real fault. To be fair, he does not try to do stuff like that. It's just the very first day they get off on the wrong foot and he's pissed off. And so he leaves a comment in, she's doing a live stream to advertise for this thing coming up. And he leaves a comment in on the live stream saying, if it's such a good like love app, how come she doesn't have a boyfriend? And he and <laughs> she goes, rude. Uh, and his, rude. And his friend is like a, an influencer is sitting there and she goes, well, because she works so hard to make this, she hasn't had the time to date. But, and then she's sort of That's like, fucking rude, though. and she kind of goes, <laughs> super rude. she loses her, like, I don't know what, but she just, she goes, it is a good app. It's a great app. It can find anybody love and I'll prove it. I'll have found love in three months on there the live go. stream. <laughs> and then she's never dated in her life. She's never, she was always a nerd in high school who just focused on her studies. And then she focused on her job. And Until she now it's a challenge. <laughs> and he's like, hey, you know what I'm good at? Dating. I will teach you how to fall in classic. love. A classic. Oh. A classic. <laughs> all right. All right. So, yeah. I what you're so, doing here. <laughs> it's very cute. And then the last one that I'm watching is another boss romance. Uh, it is a Thai one with the ever adorable um, Mook. Mook and Luke are the leads. Mook and Luke. Um, oh, my boss. Um, it's very cute. She plays a translator who she's fluent in English, Japanese, and Thai. And she goes to work. She gets a, her first job um, working for a company. It's a Japanese company that has a like a Thai office. And so they need a lot of translation work done. They're an advertising company, so they need somebody who can do English and everything. Very excited. She goes out with her friends, celebrate. They meet some Japanese dudes who are super excited to meet, like, gorgeous Thai women who are fluent in Japanese. The one guy winds up giving her a ride home, gives her a little kiss, gives her his card, says, give me a call if you want. She goes home, thinks this guy is great. She cannot find that card for the life of her. So yeah. a week later, she starts her new job. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yes. you know yes. you know it. oh, you know it. I love it. Like, there's something so nice. Like, every once in a while, just like these super cliched shows that like, as soon as you start watching, you're like, OK, OK, OK. okay. okay. It's like okay, literally right. hitting all the beats. But yeah. there's something like oddly. It's just comfortable. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's like good. reading like, like a really cliched romance novel. Mm -hmm. Where you're like, I know exactly, like, from the first line, that. you know exactly yeah. how it's going to end. And you're just like, okay, I'm along yeah. for this chill ride. Like, exactly. I don't have to worry about this. It's like that. And they're very cute together. And it has all those office moments of like, mm. oh, let me help you find the file. So now my hand is over your hand on the mouse. You know, like all those <laughs> little moments, right? My and my face is right in your cheek. And like, yeah. It, mm -hmm. you know, I gotta, I gotta lean cute. over your chair for some reason. I, like, I had a little I moment tips, I do. where I was like, oh no, are we going to do, like, is it gonna move into that kind of creepy zone? Because she's hired as a translator and the other translator keeps sabotaging her and it's really crap, but he's like a good boss and mm. he sees it and he's like, okay, they're, very competent employee is going to quit because they are treating her like crap and he makes her his secretary which sounds like a 
demotion in a sense, but it's not like she's the personal assistant. And it makes sense for the company, right? Like at first you have this moment of like, is this going to be like the dollhouse desk in, you know, strong woman? Is he just like mm. moving her where he can keep an eye on her? And, you know, but no, like this is a good move for the company. She's fluent in English and Japanese and Thai. Mm. It's cute. They're cute. Of course, there's like an evil ex-girlfriend and, a, you know, it's Thai. There's yeah, it's over the top. Lots, it's I bet. Listen, I do they drink a lot of oishi iced tea? Um, I think it's something else. Lactosoy? Oh, do they drink a lot of soy milk? No, not the lactosoy. I'm trying. To, well, I okay, cold. To be fair, <laughs> it's a lot of coffee. They're drinking a okay, lot of coffee because yeah. she has to make so it. What's coffee, a, yeah, coffee, uh, office. Coffee. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And they drink a lot of booze because her friends mm -hmm. and she go out. <laughs> And they go out all the time. Yeah. So there's a lot of there, there must be a, a booze also, sponsorship, so. a beer sponsorship or something. There's, Probably. Yeah. I always like They're always like drinking this one. And yeah. it's like she like the one scene, the girl cracks it open and goes to drink it and then goes, Oh no, you have this one. And then she takes his and yeah. cracks it open again. <laughs> Listen, then, the masters <laughs> of the PPL. <laughs> it's so good. But yeah, so I mean, it's cute. Which reminds me that be be melodramatic show like one of the friends is like a person that handles PPL within. Oh yes, yeah, I think so. Yeah. Like it was really fascinating the little I saw of that. I thought that mm -hmm. was kind of cool. It, it's it's been cute because like they've done so far. There's been only like two big ones, but like yeah, like she's it's the final date in the first episode. It's the final day of. Of, and they haven't shown the little jellies yet and they had to show the jellies this was in the contract it has to be in the show and so she goes and she sneaks on set and she sets them artistically up on the floor right where the guy is gonna like get shot and die and the blood pool is that reminds me of like uh uh because this is my first life where they have him driving the friggin' Segway and like screaming. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so good. It's neat because it's all in Be Mellow Dramatic. It's all the, the behind the scenes stuff. Mm -hmm. of, right. Because the one friend is a writer who works in like a writer crew, right? So mm. she's one of those people who has written for a lot of dramas, but has her, her name's not on MDL anywhere, you mm -hmm. know, like yeah. she's just, grunt work um and then there's one of the guys that's in it is a director and then there's the one who made documentaries and then there's this other girl who like she was in school in college with them for all this same stuff but got pregnant and just needed a job right yeah. so she was like find mm -hmm. me a job so this is the job she does she runs around making sure the ppl shows up and it's it, it's a rough life like it yeah. does not look fun because she knows it's stupid right like she's not sitting like, there going listen. yes it makes sense that this person would eat three boxes of fried chicken at the you know but no, like like we, we all have a contract know, and you got yeah. the fried chicken in the scene so we all know it we, takes we money all, we all know that the rich ceo ain't taking you on a date to subway okay <laughs> yeah, <I know. laughs> we yeah. all know this but we enjoy it nonetheless yeah so. <laughs> Guy. What are you watching? What? I know it's a lot. I know there's a lot. Scott's <laughs> been, been a like, busy on a girl. Roll. You've been a busy girl. Uh, so I'll start talking about the things that I finished. And okay. it's a lot. Mm -hmm. So I won't get into it, but I had I started watching like the first dramas I had watched back in 2018. So that's how, mm -hmm. that's what got me on like watching old stuff. So I rewatched Your Beautiful, and we talked about that last time. Mm -hmm. So then I also rewatched Secret Garden. Mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. I, I love it even more than I did the first time around so that was yeah. really really enjoyable I highly recommend it for people that like that type of goober stuff like <laughs> it's really silly <laughs> one thing I will say is with Secret Garden I had always remembered the like mom-in-law being this horrific horrific thing mm -hmm. and I, I thought she had a ton of screen time because it was so new in my yeah. drama watching mm -hmm. I think it was the first like shocking mother-in-law I had or something mother-in-law mm -hmm. yeah so it left such a large impression on me. I had remembered that Secret Garden just like had this, I thought she had a massive presence, you know, mm. like almost every episode, like it just seemed huge to me. So when I rewatched it, 
I was like, she's not even in it that much. And yeah. when she is, it's like, you know, five minutes, maybe 10. Yeah. Like, it's not this, it's not 30 minutes of dancing around her or something. Like, it's mm -hmm. pretty short. So, way better than I had remembered for that stuff. So. <laughs> and sparkly, sparkly tracksuits. That's true. So, yes. Mm, the fashion. fashion. Which I, it's I, called I mean, fashion, Brenda. Look at it. I was, <laughs> I was looking them up today, and there are still websites that sell secret garden like tracksuits in quotation marks look on you know whatever asia dot whatever and i was like wow that is lasting. <laughs> kind of throwback a throwback indeed mm -hmm. but from your beautiful i started having a huge moment with that lead actor guy mm -hmm, mm -hmm, so mm -hmm, that means mm -hmm, that i mm -hmm. so then i had to go watch some of his other shows of course. <laughs> i i had already started watching switch change the world like a year or two ago but mm -hmm. i had put it on hold i think i got a couple two or three episodes in so i picked it back up switch change the world it's pretty much about prosecutors and con artists and you have a great double role for him mm -hmm. as a con artist and as a prosecutor. And they are not related. They just look like twins for some reason. Huh. Never explained. They just deal with it. <laughs> okay, things we happen. need this role, these, Bill. These things happen, you know. <laughs> Was it believable? No. <laughs> Was it fun? <laughs> yes. yes. Oh, yeah. And I I'm assuming he did a good job in yeah. two roles. because He did. Like, it was great. I, I was really impressed. I good. never know how they're able to do like one person talking to themselves, like standing right <laughs> by. Each I don't know how they do it, but they did a good job at it as far as I was concerned. Right. Like, so that was fun. So then I watched Mary Stand Out All Night, mm -hmm. which is also called like Marry Me Mary. <laughs> I love that show. So fun. Yeah. Oh my gosh. It is a met, like it is messy. It's crazy. <laughs> so messy. It, it's his character is super frustrating because he's like, you know, the artistic musician. <laughs> he's, arti he's like, it's all and, you know, the music, man. Like it's pretty much if he gets frustrated, he just goes off in a huff and he doesn't talk to you for a day. You know, and how many times mm -hmm. does that happen? Like 17 times. Like it just, it happens a lot. Uh -huh. But it's uh -huh. so fun because you also have, um, man, I can't think of his name. The guy from Crazy Love in her private life. What's her name? What's his name? Uh, J J Wook. Jay Wook. Jay Wook. Kim yeah. Jay Wook. So he's My in it. My mind went blank there. Like, <laughs> what? It took me a while. I was like, crazy love. Crazy love. Okay. <laughs> I was like, I was like, no, you don't know what you said. My mind just said, Crystal? She said the guy. She said the guy from Crazy Love to tell you. Get it? Together. The dude. So I will say, what's also really fun is like his character in that. And then they're like the friendship between the two main guys eventually like it's it's fun so mm -hmm. mary sale and i i really do recommend it for people that would get a kick out of that type of relationship as long as you can handle being frustrated because you will be frustrated <laughs> that that's a part of the charm i suppose <laughs> so then i watched love rain because i was still yeah, having a kick about that and i love love rain <laughs> Love Rain, like, really, really surprised me. It was just so good. What's interesting about it is how Yuna and this dude... I, I, I wrote his last name wrong. I know, it's like, like, I wrote I it down. <laughs> Jang Gun Sook. Like, Jang, Jang Gun yeah. Sook. Like, I didn't put the G, yeah. so I get... Jan does not... <laughs> Jang Gun Sook. Which sometimes, if you search it, there's a K or a G. Yay, mm -hmm. romanization yeah. of Korean names. So first four episodes are all set in the past 70s probably and it's the two lead actor and actress all this stuff but then you travel to the present time and that so you get the two lead actor the actor and actress but then it was the parents back in the past mm -hmm. so you deal with all of that and the unresolved love of that and all those things but it's gorgeous. Like, it's very, very, very well done. All the interpersonal relationships are really interesting. His so character crazy. is slightly frustrating, not as frustrating <laughs> as the one in Mary Stand Out All Night. Yeah. Because he He's plays an artistic photographer in this one. Yeah. <laughs> but I gotta say, also, aside from Switch Change the World, he has gorgeous hair, like, whatever he does. Yeah. Mm. 
he has really nice hair even when it's in those old ones and it's like it's like a a weird cut it still looks it's so still beautiful. Beautiful. i love mean, frame uh, uh, so so good. great great hair there's so a good. ponytail going on a lot it's great it, it's so good so i love that was... in love rain how it's like those first four episodes have a different filter and everything too like they feel like a completely different drama almost and then mm. it's like boom now we're in the and i love that like it, it's like oh it's almost like a little mini drama mm. and now we're gonna pop into the future and have a completely different drama. And, and I thought the and music was really good too. It was so just a really good. good time. I loved it. I bought the soundtrack. I was like, I'm in love with this. I bought it and I'm listening. And I was really mad because So and Gook's in the movie and he in the show and he plays an artist, a guy, he plays a musician and he sings songs and none of those songs are on the soundtrack. And I'm like, what the heck? And I was complaining <laughs> about it one day on Twitter and somebody was like, there are two soundtracks. You need part two. And I was like, what? Okay. So the second one has all the sewing book on it, apparently. So I really, really recommend Love Rain. It's rom-com-esque, but it's really mellow too because of the kind of the uh, lost love of the first people that you see. So, it, But it's kind of funny, like funny. the same people who played, you know, the same actors playing different characters then later yeah. it's their parents is kind of odd, but you just accept it and move on. Um, don't, don't, think too, don't think too hard about it. Don't, don't think too hard. Just, the just other, accept it. The other parents clearly did not contribute any DNA to the making yeah. of children. None. Right? None whatsoever. None whatsoever. Uh, so that was the end of my Jing Dun Suk moment as far as what I watched. Did I obsess on a lot of his music and music videos? Yes, I've been busy doing that <laughs> last month. So we all watched Love and Leashes. That mm -hmm. was fun. We had an Super episode fun. on that. Go check it out. Uh, I watched randomly A Man Who Defies the World of BL, which we have talked I about. That one. One. No. <laughs> uh, because I felt like I wanted to get that watched before the second one comes mm -hmm. out. Uh, it's just really silly. It yeah. is. It is. Really silly. Really silly. Very, very. Purposefully. Um, I, it's not like yeah. accidentally silly. Like it's, it's supposed it's, to be silly. It's supposed to be camp. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So I finished Reset, the C drama that is a lot of time travel type mm -hmm. stuff, uh, time loops rather. And yeah, that I, I thought it was really, really well done. Um, it's very, they have to involve the police a lot in mm -hmm. order to do things. So you have to kind of have patience with like them being interrogated by police sometimes and things like that. Mm -hmm. so. We already talked about pirates. I watched Just Between Lovers. I mm -hmm. finally repicked that up. Um, really, really enjoyed it. <laughs> and yeah, it was exactly as everyone had said. So I love that so much. <laughs> That's so good. I, did I, I didn't. On that one. I wasn't really ready for like the <laughs> twist. Yeah, like I think did I cry? I think I cried a little bit too. I think I did. It was a while ago. Like, it's been weeks yeah. now. So. Yeah. yeah, I know. We also watched the movie Il Mare, which that is the mm -hmm. Korean... Lovely. Yeah. Very it's nice. It's the Korean original movie that the American movie The Lake House was based on. If you and know listen, about that. if you want some thirst traps of a dude making spaghetti, this movie... <laughs> With a dog? dog? Like, he has a the the cute, yeah. the cute mop dog? This yeah. movie, duh. Yeah. Reverse. Yeah. And Ilmari and Lake House, just don't think too hard about it. You just kind of have to let it wash yeah, over it, you. It's, it's, <laughs> a <delight. laughs> it's a delight. Whatever. Magic. Just yeah. Magic. <laughs> magic type stuff. Magic. Yeah. Magic mailbox. Don't worry about it. <laughs> don't worry about it. <laughs> I watched the web series Wolf and Mao, Do You Love Me? Finish that up. Oh, uh, with I've got to watch that. Chahan from Inflying. It's really silly and cute. It's very much his character does not know how to date. So he has to get like a dating specialist to help him figure he out how to talk to girls. So <laughs> and there's what what really I wanted to mention this. So there's a part where he's supposed to like, I think he was practicing with his friends at this dating doctor guy. And, uh, and the dating doctor guy is played by someone that was like an early idol K-pop. Like he's from prep. Ryan? Is that what it's called? His name's Ryan. R in that name of the band. Anyway, because I kept on thinking, he looks kind of idly to me. Sure enough, he did. 
and he's he also spoke English very fluently whenever he spoke English. Okay. So there was this moment where Chanan's character was supposed to show a talent. And the thing is, in case you don't know, I'm a huge Inflying fan. I have watched mm-hmm. a lot of things that mm-hmm. Chahan has done. So as far as even in his real life, whenever he's asked what a talent, he likes making this sound that he says it's a deer, which I think, you know, the little Korean deer make little weird yeah. sounds, I guess. And so he makes this very strange sound and it always just shocks everybody because that's like a very strange talent to want to <laughs> He did that in the show, too. His character (laughs) did that in the show. I was like, oh, I've seen that before. I know where that came from. That's what he actually does. That's really cute. It's very much first love type stuff from the past. And Mm -hmm. so it's cute. The dog and cat do talk. No one can hear them, but they're like narrating kind of. But they usually just do that at the end of each episode kind of as a look back. The dog talks a little bit here and there within the episodes, but it's cute. I randomly watched an old drama called Nail Shop Paris. Ah, yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Will I admit that the reason I watched it was Song J. Rim? Maybe. (laughs) I wonder why. Legitimate reason. Song J. Rim with the mustache. You gotta go check it out, man. Right? So was um, it good? <laughs> <laughs> Considering no one talks about this drama. Take that for what it will, you know. <laughs> uh, wow, this drama. It sure was a drama. It was a drama. It was a show that was filmed and put on television. That's and sure. sponsored by like the Korean Nail Association. And mm-hmm. I wonder and, if like, they regret that. And then a, a company that did like nail nail art system of some sort i mean and they would show like they would go to nail art competitions i mean they're all over the place with this stuff there's also a gumi ho plot of course there is it's really heavy it can't just be about nails no it it can't be that'd be really epic it's really heavy in the first couple of episodes like it's a big deal the gumi ho thing is and then it shows back up at the very end okay it's a thing Okay. So the premise is the lead girl is a writer and she does supernatural. She writes about Gumi Ho's because she supposedly saw Gumi Ho when she was young and the Gumi Ho saved her in the mountains or something. Okay. So she wrote this, she, she wrote these, I think just online novels is kind of the vibe you get. And she gets accused of plagiarism because they say it's too similar to Twilight. Mm. They, they okay. say Twilight. It is too All similar right. to Twilight. And so then she's crushed and she has to like come up with something new and she can't come up with something new. So she's like, I'm going to go look at real people and get inspired. So then she starts stalking this. She sees this guy like beat up someone who is going to hurt a girl. Come to find out he's a nail artist. Oh, that's fascinating. I'm going to go stalk him. Oh, I'm going to go pretend to be a boy so I can go work at this all male nail swan. Uh. Blah, blah, blah. Sure. So, Song Jae Rim's character is not the main dude of that. Like he rarely sh- is, he but rarely is. he's very he, much secondary, he he and and he plays like a tough guy, like ex gangster types. So okay, ex sure. gangster who's doing nail art. It's very interesting. It's all a thing. <laughs> There's an idol in it. He's from In Black, I think. His name's Thunder. Like oh yeah, isn't that uh, Doris' mm-hmm. brother? Yes. Mm-hmm. I'm 21. Because I was like, thump- like I didn't recognize him, so I was digging all about that. Um, not a good show. I mean, I <laughs> had fun because it was the I mean, joy of watching a bad show. Mm-hmm. Sometimes it's fun to do that. For sure. sure. Yeah. Watch the stuff. And I did like how Song J. Rim got a lot of screen time. It was a good time. So <laughs> Visually, it was That's great Never a you. bad thing. And so he ended up being, you know the tough guy but then he ended up just being a marshmallow and it was really cute so it's great oh semantic error i watched it we're gonna talk more about that later so i'm not gonna really talk about Mm -hmm. it right now yeah Uh, we're not gonna talk about that right now but if you come join us on the 30th on our live stream on youtube we will talk a lot about it we'll also be doing an episode but if you want to like converse with us about your opinion yes live stream Randomly picked up a J drama that I didn't even know about. It popped up on Vicky. It's called Only Just Married. Oh my god, I love it! I love it so much. So, 
contract marriage. I love it. Oh, oh that's right. Why does Natalia like it? What a surprise. <laughs> well, Maybe. so I started watching a couple episodes and I messaged Natalia. I was like, hey, have you checked out Only Just Married on Vicky yet? She's like, no, but She's like, I no, will. tell me more. And she was like, contract <laughs> marriage. I was like, I'm there. I'm there. <laughs> I, contract marriage, J drama. Go, go forth and watch it. And I was uh, like, don't. Don't definitely you were like, like I'm already watching it right now. Like, no, like literally like five talking. minutes after that conversation, I was like, hey, I'm going to be <laughs> you know, you get the cohabitation, you get the emotionally stunted male lead, you know, you get it all. Yeah. Uh so those were the things that I finished. That was pretty crazy. Um oh. I did one of my Sky Partial Rewatches of Heartstrings. Yay! <laughs> Sky Partial Rewatches mean I would like to rewatch this show, but I'm getting way too bored with either. So I did that with Hyena, because I was both bored and disgusted with the bad guy in mm-hmm. that, because the actor is crap. Meaning crap person, not... Anyway. Sure, he's a bad actor too. Might as well just say it. Sure, yeah, fine. Okay. Um... <laughs> <laughs> call him all types of names because he's an awful human so then because I'll never say that about anybody else is not an awful human <laughs> um heart like streams sassy sky. <laughs> well <laughs> he's like whatever listen, I don't care anymore <laughs> he's terrible and you should say it yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. You know? like if I people want to, if people want to say he's a good actor, I don't care. He's a terrible human, so I'm going to call yeah, him a bad actor. It don't matter. Stop don't matter. casting him. So yeah, and there we go. <laughs> so am I bitter about the fact that he's going to be in an upcoming show? I am. <laughs> the partial watch that I did of Heartstrings. So Heartstrings was one of my first K dramas that I watched. I re- I remembered it fondly. I oh, don't no. know why I remembered it fondly. <laughs> because yeah. my goodness, that thing is boring as. Hey, it's so like, boring. <laughs> Past I had, you were just really into it. That's all. Well, because I had right. remembered kind of just the musical number. Like, the music's mm-hmm. really mm-hmm. good because they do this whole, like, you have the rock band and you have the traditional musicians and then they do things together. And I was just really fascinated by that at the time. Well, so then the plot ends up, they're t- going to do this musical show. And so there's all this practicing and then there's all this politics about like the director of the show, and that there's this huge plot line that gets way too much screen time. So th- all that I skipped eventually because I'm like, I can't, I literally cannot. So <laughs> my rewatch was pretty much the musical numbers plus the cute lead couple. That's mm. all I was watching. <laughs> like, oh, they're finally on the screen again. Okay, I'm not gonna watch this politics crap again. So, so unnecessary. Well, it was. It made it a bad show. If they took it, or if they minimized it, it would have been okay. But wow, wow. I know that this bugged me the first time I saw it, but there's this whole, like, the secondary couple is the director and, like, this dance instructor chick. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, instructor age in this, like, Mm -hmm. music college, you know, younger college age Mm -hmm. people. Well, so the lead guy has a crush on her, and the, you know, just, they're there's a lot and then jealousy but again it's like teacher student relationships and it's just not not okay oh, not good and yeah you you think oh we've got over that oh no we're jealous again of the student children let's <sighs> let, can, can we move past the student children being anyway so yeah mm-hmm. i do not recommend it really unless you're just going for watching those actors and the music so, what I'm currently watching, I'm watching a business proposal. Yes! I'm enjoying yes. that, too. It's very fun. There's a ton of CGI in it, which just cracks yeah. me up. Just like when he calls on the cell phone, like something 3D pops up. Just every little bit, they love putting CGI mm-hmm. in it. just cracks me up. It's in, in sort of like just cute comic bookish ways. Right. Yeah. Se Jung is the one who's like... Sh- She's, she's just so funny. She's, she's so expressive. She's general. such a delight. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And she just, 
She reminds me of like Lucy from I Love Lucy when she's doing there's some mm. Pratt Falls once mm-hmm. in a while. Mm-hmm. When it's done well, it's done well. Like yeah. She, yeah. She, mm-hmm. she sells it each time and it's always cute. She's adorable. It's yeah, it's, it's like over the top, but not in a way that you then are just like, ugh, like this fucking show. Like it's over yeah. the top yeah. where you're like, <laughs> okay, it's over the top. How fun. Like because then she always has a cute little smile and you're like, oh, she's fine. It's and then they do they do yeah. a lot of like, you know, blush all over the full front of her face. Mm. So it's like just this cute little rosy, like sort of drunk looking glow. Oh my god, I love it. <laughs> She's so cute. And the grandpa. Oh, the grandpa. So the grandpa likes to watch Weekender K dramas. <laughs> so he's yeah. always he's always like, you know, being mad about something that's happening on the screen or like he needs to be nicer to her. It's just always funny. Or why do yeah. they always portray wealthy people as mean? Like, we're people too. Like, it's yeah. just I always love when a show has, like, a fake show going on mm-hmm. inside the show. Mm-hmm. Because, like, this fake show that everyone is watching is, like, mirroring the soap opera version of everything happening in reality but like everyone just being like oh like a rich boss would ever fall in love with one of their employees come on this is so stupid like oh oh, like he's gonna go into the shop and buy her everything she sees come on and then like the next scene is like (laughs) him actually taking her into a shop and buying her everything she looks at like and you're just like oh my god this is fucking hilarious it's very right. self-aware. The show is mm. silly. It's yeah, it's silly. I'm also watching Cherry Blossoms After Winter. Yeah. The BL. It's really cute, Ooh, so and it's cute. it's set in high school with like an adopted brother type, and then like a main high school kid. Mm. And one of the actors is from Super Five, the little trot mm-hmm. group mm-hmm. thing. Mm-hmm. So. Mm-hmm. He's doing a really good job. It's yeah. it's fascinating to watch him because I know that him as a person, he's very extroverted. He's very confident and things like that. Flirty, like that's the type of person he is when he's acting like an idol. Mm-hmm. But his his character is very introverted and very subdued and kind of self-conscious and stuff. So it's he's doing a really good so job. Cute, nice. you, just want, you just want to like mm. pinch his little cheek and give him, give him a and, little hug and be like, it's going to be okay. Pat, pat, pat. What you have to mention is size difference. Like, oh my god! <laughs> so he's, he's like this. He looks tiny. He compared is to tiny the other guy because Super Five. All of them were tiny. They're mm-hmm. all tiny dudes compared to other dudes. They're yeah. short. And so, the, and I think that the the other main lead is like actually very tall. Like, just, <laughs> like com- not even just like compared to him. Just like compared to everyone is mm. extremely tall. So like, it's just like. Boo-doop, boo-doop big change the small guy like hits under his chest like just nice. a really big size difference. like oh <laughs> it's a very cute show yeah. it's very very light very sweet mm. crazy love <laughs> <laughs> oh my god this show so it's titled that- really well i guess yeah, yeah. that's on <laughs> disney plus korea that's all we'll say about yeah, that yeah that's all we'll say about that um uh, don't ask any further questions about yeah. how we watched it, okay? We just we watched it with our eyes. What are you talking about? <laughs> exactly, we watched it with our eyes. Uh, oh God, what a show! You know, it it is what it is. Episode one was hard. I'm not gonna lie. Episode one, uh-huh. pretty much showed how evil of a boss he was to his secretary, who is Sky- trying her best. Uh-huh. Sky, Jesse, and I watched it together and yeah. we were like chatting while we were watching it and i'm pretty sure i said okay i'm on the murderer's side he deserves he this deserves. like <laughs> <laughs> like we all because there's also like another terrible woman in the office too and we're like oh, murder there's another whole person but at least like you know he's gonna get redeemed somehow. Yeah, but. Of course he is. He's the type of person that he doesn't deserve amnesia, but then he ends up getting amnesia, and you're kind of like, you don't deserve to have amnesia. You're just yeah. a jerk face. Like, yeah. yeah. And I gotta say, after amnesia, he still vaguely kind of acts full of himself. I'm like, wow, that's consistent. I haven't Way gone go. that far. I'm only on the two that we watched. So, I don't think I'll go past it, but who knows? His this person- show's got everything, even well, if it doesn't need it. 
His personality, <laughs> his personality essentially doesn't change. Like he's 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 just less. He, he's angry. more subdued because he doesn't know what who he is and stuff. But Crystal's in character general. is interesting, and I think mm-hmm. if I was going to continue watching it, it would be for her. But yeah. it was hard for the two, and I probably would have stopped. But I. I wasn't in control of stopping. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I could have like left the room. You could, or yeah, you could have just left Discord. So it was like, it was it. Stopping you from can I really like with good confidence say I was watching it? Really? No, absolutely not. Maybe I was on TikTok for most of the time, but <laughs> and, maybe and I don't. And I don't know I mean. Korean. I'm not gonna like pretend <laughs> I know Korean. But it was it was definitely fun to watch them together and just like be like yeah. this is bullshit <laughs> there's just a lot oh, this well, guy's a piece of garbage I posted <laughs> on Twitter it was this show is like Secretary Kim Goodwill Hunting and While You Were Sleeping Scott. all just got jumbled up <laughs> and had a baby <laughs> this is like, it like calls with back murder, with, with some more murder too and to the point of like the good one hunting thing is like a literal thing that's they literally <laughs> it's literally a reference to it like there's no yeah, way there's no way it. written in that like because of that and the just the way it ended on the second episode i was like huh okay, okay. so i kind of saw episode three and four were long they felt okay. long but episode four sure she- had that Sure had that twist though. We're not gonna say what it is, obviously. Well, but but, uh, but but what I wanted to say is like her character keeps going back and forth between. So herself is a very compassionate person. Like so, she naturally wants. She naturally ends up helping, right? Mm-hmm. She's going to be a compassionate person. But then it's like she'll remember that she wants that she hates it. revenge. Yeah. I yeah. want revenge. I want to sabotage his entire existence because. Because you gave me awful things. So, like, so then she'll remember and then she'll do something horrific. Like, she'll do something really mean, but then, like, yeah. she'll follow it up with being really nice. Like, yeah, like, that she'll soften it at the end. It's just very... like she can't help herself. I think one of the crazy things about that is because I think that day we also watched Forensic Files together. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. It was a weird day. We watched the tomato. <laughs> no. Tomato guy. Tomato guy. We live online. Yeah, you should check it out. We have a whole episode about Forensic Files and the Tomato Guy. She's checking, checking that out. Anyways. I'm not sure. I, oh, I did want to mention Yoon Sanha from Astro. He is in Crazy Love. He, You get a glimpse of him in episode halfway through episode three, but like episode four, he finally actually shows up and exists as mm-hmm. Crystal's character's brother, who may or may not be dating her best friend. Ooh. So it's, yeah, oh, yeah, he's definitely yeah. dating the best friend. Secretly. <laughs> there's some, there's some secret romance going on. Maybe just tell me the highlights. <laughs> well, we'll, we'll, we'll keep you, we'll keep you apprised of what's well, going on, and, just and so you know. Kind of the way I felt about episode three and four is like, man, I feel like that could have all been a brief because there was a really. It, I, I was thinking of dropping the whole show because I'm like, I think I'm done. I, I think you made me be done, and then right at the end of episode four, I was I like, gotcha. Man, they got you with that in- twist. An interesting yeah. twist. And I'm like, oh, could we have jammed the kind of boring stuff? Yeah. Like, mm. Anyway, so we'll see how it goes. It's with that type of cast. I mean, you think it would just be maybe the writing. I don't know. Maybe it's all the tropes that we're having to go through with all the amnesia and stuff. I'm not quite sure. I mean, it did tell us that this was all going to be in it. So Yeah, that's true. It was very upfront. Yeah. With- as advertised, I suppose. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, it, it is funny to see so someone like Crystal, who, when you've seen her in very serious roles and things, and then mm-hmm. the lead guy, you've seen him in very serious role. Mm-hmm. It's funny to see them as these sometimes very because they also have a lot of scenes that are not real. They'll just be like in her head, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. not a hallucination, just like a daydream type thing, like. So then that's when they get super goobery within those headspace yeah. moments. Mm. Also, if you really enjoy Photoshop is my passion moments, uh, this <laughs> yeah. show has some and it's delight, like purposefully and it's delightful. Also, if you want, there's like a part where they do a flashback of him, like when he's fairly young. Oh my God. He still ex- looks exactly like his role in Coffee Prince. Like, t- like <laughs> yeah. now. Wow. And it, yeah. Because he's a janitor. How they made him, they had him with longer hair and I was like, they literally styled him like his character in front of Coffee Prince for the night. <laughs> oh. He's a janitor. Uh, so that's really good at math. 
Yeah. <laughs> Weird. Let me be your night. I watched a couple of episodes of it and then it kind of went on hold. I'm sure I'll pick it up sometime because, hey, it's about a band idol thing. Uh-huh. I will eventually. I will I've heard good it. things about that one. Oh, like, yeah. Katie, band, Katie, huh? Katie keeps on messaging me. Hi, Katie. She keeps on messaging me. She's like, have you finished it yet? Because she powered <laughs> through. Like, mm-hmm. it was her yeah. happy show for a while. I'm like, mm-hmm. I haven't. I've been distracted, but I, w- I will get around to it. Um, if you go on my drama list and you look at Sky's, like, currently watch, it's, it's often, like, it's massive. Amazing. Yeah, it's like, a little daunting. She, she likes to watch a lot of things. Sometimes I'll go to check and it's like 30 titles. Because <laughs> she watched an episode this month, so she's still watching it. Or it's I'm okay. also not diligent about confessing that it needs to be put on my on hold list. <laughs> There's not because too, yeah. because yeah. my on hold list is massive. Anyway, uh, randomly decided to pick up Private Lives because it's on Netflix and mm-hmm. it's about con artists. Therefore, I have oh. to watch it. I've decided I'm collecting con artists, and I'm <laughs> and I'm slightly okay. collect I'm slightly collecting prosecutors. I don't really want to collect prosecutors, but it's, it's happening. I definitely do. Private lives. It's it's pretty interesting. I had I had watched the first episode ooh six months ago or something. I had to rewatch it to remember what happened because there was so much backstory. Yeah, pretty much con artists that keep conning each other, and it's it's. Cons within cons within cons within cons. Yeah, but there's also a lot of like corporate stuff. Like, Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. we'll see. You know, it might be something that as I go, I might drop it. I don't know. We'll see. Run on. I'm still watching it. (gasps) Oh, Oh, run on. I love that show so much. I think I have about six episodes left. So (sighs) I'm sure once I sit down to watch it, I will just chew through those six episodes. It is. It's really great. the The tone of the show, the character interactions, just really well done. Taxi Driver. I watched. <laughs> I watched an episode of it. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, At this rate, you might make it to Taxi Driver too. <laughs> yeah, before the second season right. starts. I actually plan on finishing it in the next month or two. So okay. we will see if it lets. Me. I, it's one of those things that, like, I enjoy it. I do this to myself. Sometimes I enjoy something so much that I'll just watch an episode and then put it back. <laughs> That's what I did this time. So I do that see. sometimes too. Or like when you're getting towards like the last couple episodes, you're like, no, I'm gonna wait. <laughs> I, I want to be in the right like time to savor. Yes. Last That's very episode. much what I've done with Taxi Driver. It's like, I want to be it, the mm-hmm. perfect moment to finish Taxi Driver. I've drunk on this show so long. Through the Darkness. I picked up episode one. Jesse, I'm sure we'll talk more about that really well done though that's usually not the type of show that i would typically pick up but yeah, this is very like like a crazy wild ad on sky's part but. yeah but you yeah. know like so I, I watched a little bit of watcher it's true yeah and watcher watcher is pretty heavy and i feel it like watcher and through the darkness to me kind of have the same mm. one's yeah, a little the- bit more theatrics than the other but right through the darkness since since they're reflecting an actual guy, like yeah, a bit more of a character study. I would. I didn't mm-hmm. watch all Watcher. You would be better about saying that, but that would be my guess. Mm-hmm. Um, but through the darkness, since I've I follow Kim Nam Gil like pretty much fan account and news stuff because you know I have I'm to keep like up with that fan. with Island. Huge, huge fan. Like I, I I knew he was great before, but now I'm like in it to win it. Mm. Like <laughs> with him. <laughs> Because the the show went on hiatus for a couple weeks, and during that time, he has his own YouTube channel. Like he has a nonprofit organization about like stories and stuff. And so he, like, he had interviews with the actual guy that like the character is inspired by. Like all these, it's just he's very involved on a very personal level as an actor with the story of Through the Darkness, mm-hmm. and he really wanted to be able to portray things like appropriately yeah. and correctly. So. Super impressive, even the little that I've seen. And Jesse will be able to talk a lot more about that. I watched a huge chunk of While You Were Sleeping. I'm still not done with it. But mm. I ended up having a kidnapping nightmare because of it one night. So I <laughs> blamed that movie. I was so, I was so mad. Because I was like, for While You Were Sleeping? Really? Like, <laughs> really? Between the two, yeah. like, through the darkness yeah. or While You Were Sleeping, <laughs> there's one that should have gotten you. But... I mean, the episode that I finished, like, and went to sleep, it was, like, kidnapping and, like, murdering, like, so that's that's what happened. 
so that's that. And then my, the two little things I'm going to add are I'm kind of midway through just some very leisurely rewatches of her private life and my idea is Gangnam Beauty just whenever mm-hmm. I feel like it. Nothing. That's it. Sorry cool. it took so long. That's okay. Mm-hmm. It's fine. I have a kind of a big list, at least for me. Um, and then <laughs> almost all of them are like one episode a week. Dramas. I don't know why I did this to my did. I just, it it happened and I don't know. Um, So first in things that I finished, I, I think I've talked about it on here. I'm trying to do this. Like it was supposed to be monthly. It's not monthly anymore. It's like bi-monthly ish Mm. where I'm like watching a drama that I've had on my list for a very long time. Like they're like the ones that like on top of my list, I just never get around to it. And this month I picked Natalia's favorite <laughs> circle, Two Worlds Connected. Oh, that's right by me. <laughs> so good. Hi. Um, Yay. I have a fun story about that. Mm-hmm. I was watching it and I was like, huh, this is familiar. And then like 15 minutes in, I was like, huh, I've watched this episode. Before. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second. It, like once it happened, it just was like fires in my brain. Like it was just a little snaps as we're like, Doo-doo-doo. and I remember Repressed clearly, memories coming back because not only did I watch this first episode, I actively scheduled it because way back when um, drama fever and Vicky mm. would do like commercials for mm-hmm. upcoming mm-hmm. stuff like in between episodes or like while it was on the, the waiting screen it would like yeah. flash by and that sort of thing and so it was around the time when i was like starting to just watch like new stuff and mm-hmm. i saw it and i was like yes i want to watch it i don't know why i didn't continue past the first episode i'm assuming maybe potentially because it was airing during the summer i might mm-hmm. have left to go to summer stock, which meant that I wouldn't be home mm. ever. So that might have been what it is. I do remember around that time there was, oh gosh, what is that show called? There was this show called Queen of Mystery. I know a lot oh, of people yeah. like it. Mm. I hated it. Hated really? it so much. And it came right before Circle. So I mm. think I had Queen of Mystery and Circle on my list. I was like, I'm so into these. Like, mm. this looks great. Mm. One's the aliens, one's this. And Queen of Mystery really one knit for you. It was yeah. so not it for me. And <laughs> I tried and I, it was like kind of one of my first heartbreaks, I think, in like yeah. the new like, watching. Oh, listen, it happens like, oh. to the best of us, you know. Yeah. Um, yeah. so Circle is about aliens, kind of. Kind um, of. V- it's vaguely. About, <laughs> it's a sci-fi uh about these two brothers who in encountered an alien potentially when they're younger and the one brother is like very obsessed with finding her again and the other brother is just trying to like keep him out of trouble and out of jail and out of the mental hospital and that sort of thing and it uncovers a bunch of things and like the the big thing about the show is that it has a part one and a part two so the first half hour which i'm pretty sure this was also when they did the commercial breaks during yeah, the, the split middle. episodes. This was one so, of those that it actually made sense to have. Yeah. yeah. Commercial so break the first them. half of it, part one was them present time in high school. The mm-hmm. part two is sometime in the future. I think it's like 2056 or yeah. Yeah. Far in some odd years in the future. Yeah. And it's like super sci-fi new world stuff. And like, you find out things that are going on in that part two that like fall back to part one potentially. And there's things that they're doing in part one that you kind of, it, it connects mm-hmm. all the dots. Um, connected the dots. Yeah. <laughs> it was good. I loved part one. A lot of part two I didn't like. Mm-hmm. And there was a lot of characters I didn't like. Mm. So that kind of like dragged it. So part two, they have like a, like a, police unit Mm -hmm. almost every police officer i hated that was like my main problem with the part two Mm. but it's got some really nice like ties together and i personally think if you like are you human too you're gonna like it Mm. i always wished and then you know drama fever died and there were no options anymore but i always wished like I always thought I would like to rewatch it, but just watch like all the part ones and yeah, then that watch would actually all be the cool. part two. Mm-hmm. Like watch like it a recut. Sort of in 
chronological order yeah. as opposed to and it's like yeah. really defined like if there's a cliffhanger oh, yeah. in part two the next episode you're gonna have to wait through the 30 40 minutes of part one before mm-hmm. you can pick up the the thing mm-hmm. you know huh stuff it like it's really it's defined it, like, and it, it says it at out. the top too it says like, yeah it, it even one. has like in in like the top it tells you what yeah like where you know like and they I, usually have the title you know little graphic on them if I'm remembering, like they kind of filtered them different, or the yeah, mm-hmm. or something yeah, was different. One's too, like, right? like they very, were very it's like obvious, darker, when... grittier. It's like his, you know, high school, and then the other one because there's this like I can't remember what they call it, like New World or something, and it's this very high tech, like Earth super, two, like yeah. yeah. So everything's bright white and like exactly how you would okay. imagine that kind of like you know sterile sci-fi thing. But the, if you're definitely if you're into sci-fi. It's great. Mm-hmm. I will say that if you're into aliens, this is not your thing. It, yeah, it's it really not isn't. like alien um, heavy by any stretch no. of the imagination. Yeah, but yeah, if you like that in action and kind of like interconnected, melding, interconnected. Yeah, 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 I think it's really good. It stars uh, what's his face? The deep it's voice, young clown. clown mm-hmm. uh, you, 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 Jingu. Yeah, 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 there we go. <laughs> we did it. We did it. We got there. <laughs> <laughs> and then also the girl who plays the main female in Are You Human Too? She's also in it. The oh. girl that's also in um, B- yeah. Bulgasol. You know. Yeah. yeah. Second the, lead girl in Bulgasol. The sister yeah. of the girl from Twice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> we got What's there. his face too? The, um, the idol. The, uh, what group is he from? Beast or Highlight or... Oh, right. he's yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, 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 yeah, in, yeah, yeah. he's in Park he's in or whatever. In the, and there's yeah. a couple of other people. Like, there's definitely people that you'd recognize. Yeah, like when you watch in, it, you're like, oh, you're like, oh, this person, guy. this person. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I overall, I thought it was really good, and I, I really do think some of the like the mysteries were like super connected, especially the like mm-hmm. last two episodes where it like really boils down to like what is happening, actually going yeah. on. It's like it's actually pretty cool. So, and then so the second drama that I watched. Uh, finish was through the darkness which is mm-hmm. absolutely fantastic i don't think any other drama this year will beat it honestly Ooh, um big, it big, is big big claims wait which, which means beginning of which the year. means that island isn't go- like you're saying island isn't gonna i don't think it. island will make it i it's just so good and i don't like i i think i need more time to sit with it to articulate how good mm-hmm. it is but okay so the Drama is about Korea's first profiler, and it's about the kind of creation of Mm -hmm. the behavioral unit and its creation. And it's based on a book the first profiler actually wrote, and it's kind of like a combination of all of his cases. And if you're, like, curious about this guy, he's actually in a documentary on Netflix. Yes. But he's also um, in that uh, Kim Nam Gil's thing that yeah, he talks yeah. to. They talk to him. Mm. Yeah. So you, there's and there's also other, you know, news um, like investigation news places that, or that you know Korean television has. This drama is like in the mid '90s is when they start. And um, what's really interesting about it is that not only are you seeing the the serial killers that they are you know trying to find, but it's the creation of the 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 group and what they do and just mm-hmm. like the creation of how to make profiles. So there will be like points when they're going to jails and interviewing people who are murderers who like not necessarily you saw the murder happen and they will be doing giving detail. It's really graphic in that it gives you detailed things mm-hmm. about the these murderers because they're trying to, you know, try to figure out, like, what are some of the things that are common of, like, their psyche and that sort of thing, and try to figure out what's going on, why these people are doing those types of things so that they can apply it to other cases. And so it, it has this really great story arc with, like, how it's, you know, like, kind of contested in the very beginning, and it's very just, like, it's, like, three guys. It's Kim Nam Gil, who's, like, a officer or, I don't know, a police guy. Um, and then... Uh, the other uh, male lead is um, he used to be in forensics. So they have that and they have like a kid that's there to do kind of like more computer stuff. Mm-hmm. But it's, it kind of goes through that, but also them having active cases and them working with the rest of the police department to kind of figure these out. And it's done so well. It's mm-hmm. 
very graphic in a lot of the, like, what they say. They don't mm. show a lot, but they do, especially when it's older. There, I was talking to Annie on Twitter today. There is animal deaths. There is child deaths. And they don't show the child death, but it's very graphic in detail on what they did to her. So I just wanted to make it clear. But the show, what it does that I feel it does well is that it doesn't overhype anything. It's kind of actually like kind of focusing more on how these people who are working on these really terrible cases, they're doing all the stuff to prevent these things because like if they don't do it, who will, Mm -hmm. even though it is damaging to them because they're literally hearing people talk in detail about dismemberment. But the show never heightens anything. They have real conversations. Like, it's just, Kim nam is absolutely fantastic in his role. Like, absolutely. Like, it's just beautiful. I, I even felt like from episode one, like the way they would handle, for instance, music, it's not like they try to overhype the tension. Mm-hmm. You know, like how some of those shows will. They'll really draw draw that up more than mm-hmm. reality would feel. Like, it really did feel realistic the way they even did that. Yeah. I like, it. it's, like, really hard because it, it's really disturbing, but it's really, really good, too. Like, and so, like, I'm, like, can't, like, it's, like, hard to be, like, yes, you should watch it. But it also, like, I feel like it could not be good for people, even though it's so well I, I done. Mean, so that Kim Nam Gil fan site that I follow, like they've retweeted a lot of people. So some people that typically don't watch crime dramas did watch it because like, for instance, they'll be a big mm-hmm. fan of his and they ended up really being super impressed and really enjoying it. Yeah. But I, I, I still imagine it's only for certain people, but pe- people that aren't usually into that yeah. genre, they're like, yeah. this is amazing. Really, really. It's just got this really great air of just realism to it. And, like, granted, like, it's still a TV show. They're not going to show deeply into, like, what they think. There's a a captain who is female. And they only, like, kind of talk about, like, things that, like, her mistreatment, which you would assume if it was actually real, you would see more mistreatment in Mm -hmm. that. They decide that, like, the show is already telling about these, like, horrible people. And they're essentially people who were real people in Korea doing really bad things. Mm. And instead of, like, adding theatrics in, like, the characters' discussions, everybody's just, like, very real and they talk things out. If, like, a cop comes in and he's had some past with, like, Kim nam character, they're, like, they respectively go, hey, it was in the past this is the thing and then kind of move on and just like mm. focus on what's going on with like the case and stuff. Y- you think it's going to add the kind of like normal tropes it, mm-hmm. in the crime drama, but it doesn't do that in respect. And it's really great. Um, it, it also has Kim Won Hey. Oh yeah. He's the, um, the second to the top chief guy. Like he's mm-hmm. like the head of their, all their department, which is like the special victims unit or something like special that. Special crimes, crimes or, unit, yeah. you know, cause they're the ones who are, the police officers who are doing the higher things. They're not, like, doing the petty crime or anything like that. Awesome. And e- even in episode one, as they were kind of... The chief guy was trying to... The forensics guy was trying to express that he wanted to start that that group of profilers. Him trying to convince them that there was a need for it when it's something that they had never had was very, very difficult. Mm-hmm. Mm. And... So I thought that was kind of fascinating, you know, because they're like, why do we need this? We already have forensics. Like, what are you even talking yep. about? Like a totally different type yep. of science. Why do we need that? And Kim nam he made a point to really thank the actors that played all of the serial killers and stuff because he knew that that was very, very difficult on them. Yeah. Too. So watch it if you want to. I, <laughs> it's hard. I know. <laughs> so then in airing stuff that I'm watching... Uh, I started Superior Day because it just started. It's a one episode a week drama. Mm-hmm. I don't know that I like it, actually. Oh, really? You were yeah. really looking forward to that one, too. I was. It's weird. I was trying to, like, in my head, like, figure out, like, why it's so weird. Like, the way it's done is, like, I don't know if they were trying to, like, add tension to it that was, like, kind of, like, horror tension to it. Because mm. it's about a serial killer that is targeting females and they're rich and the main lead 
is uh, like a first responder who actually ends up like getting assaulted by the guy because he is coming to help someone else. And then the guy's like killing a girl in another room and he finds her and then he kind of gets knocked out. His wife is um, an officer or captain or something, you know, she's a police officer of some respect and they have a teenage daughter there it's in their apartment too which is like weird because i don't think a police officer and a first responder would have enough money to be in the rich apartment that literally has like a unless this was a happiness <laughs> style thing Maybe. where they got in because of the but it's the like a servant law it's thing. like a lobby of a hotel where there's like five people who are the oh. door people stuff wow maybe maybe yeah. we'll maybe you'll find out like wives from a really rich family or something who yeah knows? maybe who i don't yeah i don't know um but like it's also very graphic it's ocn so it's very graphic yeah. like yeah but it like does this thing it's like it's like when you are in a conversation and someone ha like is talking to you and then they kind of stop and they act like you're supposed to keep on with it. Like they asked you a question, but mm -hmm. they didn't ask you a question. And you're like, did I zone out there? Was there a spot that I like zoned out there? Mm -hmm. But there wasn't. And there's a, like weird, like, oh, uh, what do you want me I, to say? Uh, uh, and it, yeah, uh, uh, that way for the uh, entire show. And I don't that's, know that's why. Long. I feel like I experienced that with the show in the last few weeks. I can't think of what show it was, or maybe it was a movie I watched. I'm not sure, but like I experienced something similar to that. It's like it's really difficult to put into words, but like when you experience it, it's like you yeah, don't know like if it's you, the acting or the writing or what is going yeah. on, but you know, something when, like, is up. You do that thing where like it's like you both go to go like hold open the door at the same time, and you're like no, no, and then you like no, pause you, no, you. And that weird thing, and then like you go again. That kind of like air. That's what it is. But it's always in weird spots. You're like, did I miss something? And then I go back and I'll be like, no, I didn't miss that thing. And it's very <laughs> weird. There's like some weird stuff that he he does. He's like okay with his daughter being with the uh, the cute kid. You know, the smile. He smiles with his eyes, kid. The daughter goes to like his house to have like painting classes. And he's like fine with her, even though that like drastically older and then like she's hanging out with this other guy and she and he's like don't do that and i'm like you're okay with her being with this other guy that's like talking about how pretty her hands are i don't <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah i did look at my drama list and like a lot of people were it's set up in a way that it's kind of like 24 where it like at the very end of the first episode that's like kind of the countdown because the girl's mm. kidnapped so it's like the countdown oh of trying to find the uh -huh. killer. Mm -hmm. There's only eight episodes of it, but it's also a, once a week. Uh, so you're <laughs> so going to be I'll, at it for two months. Maybe I'll just, like, leave it. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> You'll leave it and then binge it once it's done. Yeah, maybe. We'll see if it, like, moves mm -hmm. in another direction. Um, we talked about Crazy Love. I'm still kind of watching Deep Crime Unit, which is a Japanese drama. It's okay. It's not the best, but it's kind of one of those things you can watch one episode and then mm. forget about it for three weeks for <laughs> testing love and weather um grid i am watching grid on Finally. disney plus yes on disney plus that's, <laughs> that's where it is that's where it is where it is um it is also there at uh, cbs uh, all right so that's one episode a week Yes, to fuck with you. I was yeah. like, oh, I'll like start it now. And then I looked and there was only like five episodes up. And I was like, oh no. So <laughs> oh I, no. And they're like under 50 minutes long. <laughs> oh. And I was like, no, okay. <laughs> so I've been like trying to not like rush through them. So I'm only on episode three, but there, there's only five out now. So mm. how are you liking them? It's good. It's interesting. It's definitely you need a full season to get it because there's a lot of mysteries because it's also like a sci-fi about this it's kind of hmm, it's hard to describe there's this event like in the mid 90s where this being for lack of a better word is able to do some like essentially like grid thing to infiltrate earth and do all this stuff 
which it affects the male leads like he's young and he, it affects him and then it affects the female lead who's a cop um and it's like so you see it happen in like kind of like the first part of the first episode and then it's like fast forward to like this time where she like she's now back this being and they don't know why and the male lead is I don't know anybody's name and I have my internet off so I can look at my list, but you know, so, so Kong Jun. So Kong Jun. Kong Jun. Yeah. He now works at this branch that is like essentially is trying to find this being like, he, it's a part of the like government and mm. his job is to sit there and like, look at articles and stuff like constantly and like find this woman and he ends up finding her. And then he's like, there's some conspiracy and then he joins up with the the police officer who kind of started the investigation because it like tied back to this murder at a convenience store that actually so Kong Jun he was at the place at the convenience store when this guy was murdered or like right after he was murdered or whatever i'm butchering this tale to tell you how what this <laughs> is. but you're it's trying like your hard. best, and that's all that matters. You're <laughs> well, really about, a lot. like, you don't want to spoil things, right? Yeah, I don't want right. to spoil things. Twisty, right? Um, and that's it's very true. twisty, and it, I think it's just going to continue to be twisty. But yeah, like, so he kind of goes rogue because, obviously, the, he has ties to it from his childhood. She also has ties for it. She was, like, older, but in, like, high school or something. Mm. And they're kind of like coming together and trying to figure out what's going on. His boss in his unit is actually uh, the woman who is the estranged wife and forecasting love and weather. <laughs> so like, I'm just like, oh. I, I'm okay. watching her like all year apparently because it's, yep. she's the same one from heard it from the grapevine. And you know, she was <laughs> in <laughs> everything that the people made like something in the rain and was it wasn't she even in touch your heart i feel like she was yeah she, she was, was in touch your heart she was she played she was. the single mom secretary in touch your she's heart. in a lot yeah. like a lot but yeah it's just rough. it's kind of weird because it's like in one show i'm watching her she's a boss in this like sci-fi government conspiracy type thing and then in the other show she's the estranged wife of a forecast weather forecaster guy <laughs> it's mm-hmm. like mad at him <laughs> and that's like i'm like oh, okay <laughs> good for her getting to yeah, play no, a boss great. though like, yeah because yeah. like yeah i'm not sure that she gets many boss roles that's no. no but yeah i'm sorry i butchered that but that's what the grid is you did your best i know <laughs> my best is not very good i'm sorry what a <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. i started uh, my other once a week drama it's a j drama called hero it's leeches i think is the what it is in english uh which is like a word for people who enter people's houses when they're gone to like essentially live without them knowing yeah like they live there and then they kind of like leave when the person comes back from work or whatever and use up their stuff and it stars the kid from cherry magic it starts off with like his character goes to back to his place and he finds one of those people who are leeching off of him he finds him there and he's been stabbed and then he got like gets caught up in everything and like they they think he did it and so he has to go on the run and he like learns about this like society and people are dying left and right so it kind of like starts up this like thing that's like going on and i don't know what's going on because it's only been one episode um (laughs) That's really like it. Like, like I literally told you basically everything that in, the, in the episode. That wasn't even me being bad. It was just <laughs> that's all you got. And and how long are the episodes? Like twenty five minutes. Yeah, so yeah. I mean that's yeah. literally Ooh, everything literally that happened. It. And then so thirty nine we talked about, and then I did start Fishbowl Wives, which is a J drama on Netflix. It's about cheating and husbands being terrible and that sort of thing. It's okay. I'm not like I'm not like invested in it so i haven't been like mm. watching it but, but i do doing, intend to watch it like finish it you're doing your netflix j drama support yes effort. exactly so they yeah. know i want netflix to keep on getting j dramas and i don't want disney plus to get j dramas which i think there are and i'm not uh, oh yeah no they absolutely are i remember they that. announced they, they it, announced yeah. that like news yeah. thing <laughs> especially because disney is not a good company 
especially right. now right. and there's like right. current yeah leadership so uh-huh. i don't want uh-huh. my Keep money my disney plus money stuff. going to people who are giving it to people who th- things that i don't believe in uh-huh. so that's but, why the things that we're currently watching on disney plus we're watching on disney plus yeah we are <laughs> <laughs> they appeared on disney plus <laughs> somewhere there. in this world yeah they they definitely appeared on Disney Plus. Yeah, they were definitely. I definitely saw the logo on Disney Plus. Yes, <laughs> the logo was there. That's all. I'm sorry, none of it made sense, but I'm watching. No, no, it. I did. It did. I, I, but <laughs> sci-fi, it's sci-fi cool, shows. Sci-fi, oh, are, there aren't all of them are mysteries. No, <laughs> like, I'm telling you, figure. like every time I watch like a really good involved like sci-fi or fantasy show, and then I have to describe what it's about to someone. <laughs> yeah, I sound. Like I've never like, put words together. The description of it on like my drama list is like nothing like it. I'm like, oh, okay, that's not really it. Oh, okay, <laughs> fine. Did fine. you say something about Fishbowl Wives, Amanda? Oh, just that I oh. I know a lot of people who are normally well, not even necessarily K drama people, but they're more K pop people who are into K drama a little bit, you know, like they've started to get mm-hmm. more into K drama, mm-hmm. who for whatever reasons watched Fishbowl Wives oh. and like and then they're like a couple episodes and they're like, What is, what am I watching? And we're like, Oh, oh yeah. J drama like J dramas <laughs> and it's J dramas are a little more with the sexy time. Yeah. Than, yeah. They're, <laughs> yeah. And they're all just they're kind of cheating like, oh, on their husbands. Yeah. In the literal sense. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. It's like, it's interesting though. And like, it's definitely got some, like, it's kind of, if you like that kind of like mm-hmm. uh, tension, kind of mock jongy, but not really more like mellow, but like with mock jong elements to it or mm-hmm. at least themes because of the main female, like her, her husband is very abusive. And so she, there's this kid who um, owns like a, goldfish shop and so he kind of takes her in and is like protecting her from her crazy mm. husband and mm. there it's a group of friends too that and so they're like all kind of talking about their relationships and stuff so for me most of what i'm watching we have already discussed oh. uh so i you know i'll just go quickly through that list so anyone curious like what is natalia yeah. watching <laughs> i'm watching cherry blossom after winter i'm watching semantic air I, well i watched semantic air uh, i'm watching 39 i'm watching forecasting love and weather i watched only just married i'm watching business proposal i'm watching crazy love all right <laughs> check mark we've got we already discussed those Fast well, how, how did you feel about the uh, only just married? Did you really really like it? I fucking loved it. Oh my God. <laughs> it was so cute. It was so good. He was so frustrating and stupid, and <laughs> and just like but, like stupid and like the first half of the show, he's frustrating, and then the second half of the show, when he finally like gets his shit together. And realizes what's wrong with him so he can move on with his life he just becomes so endearingly stupid that you're just like oh my god like, okay come on buddy get it together <laughs> anyway i recommend it it's really cute for things that i've probably mentioned on the last episode that we did this but the shows are still going so i <laughs> am still watching them uh not me is coming to an end very soon i believe this weekend um, oh, I I'm thinking of binging that so one. So good, it is Chef's Kiss. You wouldn't even know it was made by GMM TV. <laughs> wouldn't even know. <laughs> no, like if it didn't have all the actors that you've seen on every other <laughs> GMM TV show, you would not know. You'd be like, oh, what a lovely little like indie show that is definitely not made by corporate horror GMM TV because that doesn't make sense for anything happening in this show. And I, to this day, do not know how the director convinced GMM TV to pay for the show to be made. I don't, I don't know how she did it, but she did it. And just, it's, it's mind blowingly good. I love it. So good. Also on GMM TV, I am still watching F4. I'm going to that soon. Yeah. I, you know, you had to, like, get some that I was going to, like, binge yeah. and, like, not try to do weekly. Yeah. I don't, like, it, listen, if you've seen Boys Over Flowers or Media you know exactly, you know exactly what's happening in this show. Just in my, my headphones, 
was Boys Over Flowers. Like, if you've seen literally any other iteration of this story, it's exactly the same, just with better cell phones. Um, literally, like, it, no, there's nothing revolutionary going <laughs> on. Here. It is. It is just a nice looking version of it. I saw Literally somebody somebody uh, tweeted, I think last week or maybe the week before, and they were like, okay, so we've got all these things done with. And like, there's only two episodes left or whatever it was they were talking about. And, and they were like, so that means we just get to be happy now, right? And somebody quote tweeted and was like, oh, oh, honey. Oh. Like, oh. Did you not read the them? source material for this? <laughs> <laughs> Awkward. <laughs> Awkward. Um, so yeah, it's exa- like literally. If you've watched Boys Over Flowers, it's you know what you're getting. When you know, it's just it's just like it. a slightly better made version of it. Like that's that's what you're getting. It's it's fine. It's fine. The actors are really good. Um, Plus animal print. You get animal print. Oh, you get so many. Oh, you get so many questionable outfits. You do not even know. I mean, just okay? go for the outfits. Like listen, the, his style alone. Like the main the main. Time is his name on the his name on the show. Um, his like the way they styled the actor Bright is horrendous, but like in a really fun sort of way that you're like, what the what sort of shit are they gonna put him in this week? <laughs> Ooh, neon print romper, like yes, with some like <laughs> glitter sneakers. Hell yeah, that is what a normal human wears. <laughs> of course, they, they literally dress him like he's an alien who was sent to earth and told to like blend into humans but the only like research material they had was like elton john and liberace but then like (laughs) they were like but don't go so flashy and so and then he's like okay tone down liberace got it and then that's what they've got him in like awesome it it's a mess but like it's fun it's fun I am still watching, young lady and gentlemen. This is listen. I'm gonna get through this show. Well, it was gotta be coming out soon, right? It's soon. It's it's gotta be soon because it's getting replaced with another Weekender starring Yoon Shi Yoon that I'm like really excited to watch. Yeah. So (laughs) every uh, everyone just had expressions like, "Oh no, I'm gonna have to." Yeah, 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 yeah. So (laughs) is that our group watch? (laughs) Like, so I know that okay. So I know on an intellectual level, young lady and gentleman is not good. Okay. I know that what I'm watching is terrible and it's so tropey and it's so over the top and it's just so just dumb. There's something about it that keeps me coming back for more. I can't, and like, it's, it's really kind of funny because no one I know personally is actually watching this show with me. I'm the only one watching but Joy, a uh, friend of the show, Joy, every week on Sunday night after she knows I've watched it goes, okay, tell me what happened this week. <laughs> so so then I have to like, we're in like this group chat with a few other people. I'm like, oh, you won't believe the shit that they were doing this week, young lady and gentlemen. And it's just sort of like me, the act of me describing the nonsense that this show does is just somehow cathartic i'm really enjoying myself uh it's stupid it's campy it's every trope you can possibly imagine out of a soap opera they're gonna do it every single one have they done like a kimchi slap or something to that effect yeah we need that yes not like a kimchi slap but like there was definitely some salt thrown on someone as they were like Mm. that's close enough yeah Yeah. Um, a lot of like you know like throwing water on people you know the classics the classics mm-hmm. they got it all. you got you know the you'll never date my dog just the fact like so the bingo everything. card the bingo card for young lady and gentlemen is you, massive it's matt you get it all you get like if this was You're a old. drinking game i'd be dead of like you do alcohol like blackout poison. bingo where it's like yeah. the full card not yeah. just like one line yeah, yeah. it's called that yeah. the around the world where you get everything yeah no Never. It's got it all. So if you're looking for the most tropes you can fit into a show, it's like mm, it's a slap in the trunk. Like mm, it's got so it's got so much tropes in it. It's got it all. But I mean, there's something to be said. Just like I watched Nail Art Parish, there's something to be said. We don't always have to watch 
yeah good excessively yeah. excessively you can, intellectual or masterpieces you can just enjoy what you enjoy and, that and you is can totally fine. you can watch bad shows and enjoy them for what they are you don't mm-hmm. have to like That's true pretend everything has deeper meaning when it doesn't like, yeah, like i'm not to trick yourself into it it's like yeah it's fine. you don't you have can, to like yeah, you can just, just enjoy it, it and it's totally fine and young lady and gentleman is that show for me because every and it's there's others there's dozens of us dozens funny <laughs> <laughs> because like every week i'll tweet something that like the main villain does and someone always like comments like i can't believe the shit that's going on <laughs> i'm like all just I'm spread out alone. i'm not alone um, and then like probably the whole of korea is watching oh yeah it's, it's like it's like anyway. obviously like popular enough because they kept on mm-hmm. doing like the extensions and yeah they wouldn't and also that, like it's always on like the front page on coco like it's always like hottest show like yeah. There's people watching. It's not just me. I know you're out there watching it too. The, the rich just, dad. Please, gr- please who, just come out. Okay? Who likes weekenders? Just, he's watching that. Yeah. Oh yeah. That that, gra- that grandpa. He's, yeah, the grandpa. The grandpa yeah, he would definitely. He would be 100 percent into this. <laughs> like, I'm also watching um, this Chinese fantasy, like Danmei style thing uh, on Viki called Wolf Princess. I'm about halfway through it it's super fun like it's really corny but like in a fun sort of way and it follows the third son of like this rich family who was like in the military and he comes back and his dad's like oh you gotta you gotta get you gotta get married now to this person you're engaged to and he's like mm, not really but then he encounters this this other girl that he's like oh yeah this mm-hmm but then finds out that she's like a political, like, basically, you know how, like, when they would take, you know, princesses from, like, serfdom lands and make them live in, like, other countries as sort mm-hmm. of hostages? Mm-hmm. So she's like that. So he's like, okay, I got to, like, figure out how to, like, be able to, like, marry her without it, you know, backfiring politically. Uh, but she has no interest in him because she thinks he's an absolute buffoon because he kind of is but like in a in a delightful way but she also has a second personality that is is like a wolf spirit okay that gets up the to shenanigans is kind of literal yes, that, like gets gotcha. up to shenanigans nice it's fun it's really fun it's just, it's just it's like one of those easy where it's like it's not based like in it's not a historical you know what i mean like this isn't based on any real history this is clearly a fantasy beautiful beautiful costumes beautiful people great like fight sequences it's you know it's exactly what you would expect i am watching only really two other shows at the moment that i could remember when thinking about what am i watching and they're both thai shows and they're both on youtube so you can watch them for free uh one is called secret crush on you it is the cheesiest show i have ever seen in my it's the one that was produced by saint uh the actor oh yeah Um, and it is ostensibly about this like nerdy photography student who has like an obsessive crush on like the campus hot guy but it's like, oh, this hot guy, like he'll never know, like he'll never notice me, even. But I'm just like gonna be secretly in love with him and have his like picture all over my room <laughs> and like have a a pillowcase of him on, you know, like just you know all this. But guess who might also have a little secret crush in reverse, yeah. uh, but hasn't yeah. said anything yeah. yet. Um, I don't know. Who could it be? Who could it be in this hmm. fictional college world uh, where engineering students exist? Uh, oh, wow. Uh, <laughs> you said it all. Uh-oh. <laughs> and then there's like, the, the, the second couple is like, is, is much cuter than the main couple. The main couple is like, they're both like, sort of like, a little too obsessive hmm. for me. But the second couple, you've got like, this like, shy cute like he i think the show's trying to tell us he considers himself chubby or something but like he's just not as thin as everyone else but he's not 
Uh, Shelby by any he's just he's he's a bit broader shall we say and then like you know the hot basketball star who's best friends with the hot dude who who immediately is like I like this guy I'm gonna like pursue this shy awkward dude the shy awkward dude's like like like, you know dodging and weaving like but they're actually really cute and then I think though it's only on episode five so, like, I can't confirm for sure, but I'm pretty sure it's a lesbian couple in here. Cool. So, they're, like, a side couple. They seem they seem pretty, like, they're lesbians. So, I'm just going to, like, go with the assumption, yeah, they seem like they're lesbians. I, I feel like they're lesbians. And then Saint shows up every once in a while to just be, like, the mysterious upperclassman who gives the advice to people. <laughs> and you're just like, oh, Saint, what have you done? Why, why have you made this show? <laughs> But it's like colorful and cheesy and completely mindless. Um, speaking of colorful, cheesy, and mindless, the last show I'm watching that I could think of is significantly better <laughs> than Secret Crush on You. Uh, and it is called Cutie Pie. It is also on YouTube and it has Z in it. So imagine a Wattpad story made into a show with a alarmingly large budget from how good it looks. (laughs) Um, So the basic plot of Cutie Pie the series is that when the main character is uh, this like rich kid who loves riding motorcycles and he, he secretly plays in like, he plays the drums and sings in bars and stuff. Uh, but when he was kids, his grandfather was best friends with another family who had a slightly older kid. Okay. So when they were kids, they decided the grandfather was like, I want you two to like take care of each other all your life because we're like me and, and your dad are best friends. So they've been like engaged since they were kids. You know, this old chestnut, the, the goon mm-hmm. style, you know, you know, the princess yeah, hours, yeah. princess hours style, but it sort of takes like a little twist. So this, uh, this like rich kid had affects another persona when he's like on these dates with his fiance, where he pretends to be this like perfectly behaved, like, the perfect fiance. Meanwhile, his fiance knows what's up. And his fiance is like, you're so full of shit. Like, so he's just like being kind of like a bad fiance to him. Cause he's like, I don't want to marry like some fake perfect dude. Like that. I'm not interested in that. And then there's like a side couple that's like his best friend. And there's, they're kind of whatever. It has Stuart in it, AKA Perth, our favorite Australian. He plays a bar owner. Um, So basically the, the main dude is like, I don't want to marry like a a doll. Like I want to marry an actual person. So he's like, fine, then we're not going to be engaged anymore. We're, I'm going to break our engagement. And he's like, no, I don't think we're going to do that. But the rich kid's like, no, we're going to do it. I'm not going to be engaged to you anymore. But then goes home and is like, why did I do that? I love with him. Why, did I, why does he love me? This is the word. And his best friend's like, okay, they're there. Like, please, I don't know what to do with you when you're like this. Then you, you know, of course you find out that like, the, the fiance actually does love him and knows all about his like secret life and just, wants him to admit that he has a secret yeah anyway so it's like it's it's exactly it's exactly what it said it was going to be Love it. when when the advertisement mm-hmm. came out and it has z just being just his usual hot as hell self um <laughs> like listen that man is good looking and he knows it and that is what he has capitalized his entire acting career on is that he's like i am very classically hot and i'm just gonna go with that and be gay too because everyone (laughs) loves that and then it also has um max nat which is like they were in why are you and why destiny and whatever as like the other couple um I've never like really cared too much about their pairing. It just it seems a little weird to me. But like they're they're doing fine. And the new actor, I forget what his name is, 
um, who's playing the main guy, is excellent. He's actually like really good, and he's he's a singer. So when they have the scenes of him singing in the bar, it's actually him, and he's saying the right. opening credits and stuff, and he's doing a really good job, even though this is like his first acting job. So I was just like, yeah. Um, so that's on YouTube. It's free to watch, and it's fun. Uh, there you go. It's free. Okay. Uh, free yeah. and fun. That's free yeah. and fun. What more do really? you need? I I right. have. There has been some like really like people. People gotta stop taking this shit so seriously because like i've just seen some real hot real steaming hot takes about this show just saying just saying the most absurd shit where i'm just like guys did you not did you not see what the plot of the show is like we don't need to go into this like deep philosophical social analysis like this is literally as deep as Oh, I came home today and found out my mom sold me to One Direction. Like, this is how deep the show is, okay? Like, just stay with us on this level. Okay? Just enjoy the show. Yeah, So far, no evil female characters in either show. Well, there is a kind of evil female. Oh, I forgot. I just remember two other shows I'm watching. <laughs> I totally forgot. Okay, you yeah. thought I was done, but I'm not done because I'm watching two other Thai shows. Um, I'm watching My Ride. That's okay. on Gaga Lala. It's it's nice. It's just a very chill, sweet little show. I'm like a couple of episodes behind. Uh, but I'm also watching and I'm not behind. And who knows where I'm watching this? Who knows? Who knows? It's who knows? just so it's mysterious. a mysterious. It just appears in front of me and I watch it. I'm watching the Thai version of Love Stage. <laughs> It is so stupid, but like in a fun way. <laughs> like, cause love stage is stupid. I, if you've never encountered the original love stage, it's very dumb. But like the couple, so Kanao and Turbo are like a known like Thai pairing, like for shows. You know, they have the whole Delulu fans who are like, oh, they're really together in real life. Like, I know it. Here's my 20 minute, right. Here's my part, part one of 90 20 minute presentation. The PowerPoint. With all of, with all of my proofs that I have that they're together. Uh, like, this is yeah, okay, sure. Whatever. Maybe they are, maybe they aren't. I don't know. Let them live their lives. Yeah. Um, they have the same pair of like, shoes. He was seen wearing this shirt on this date, and he was seen wearing an identical shirt on this date, which must mean that they're, they're living to get like no, or they just have the same shirt. Like, let's calm down. It reminds, uh, it reminds me of the Secretary Kim Parkman Young thing, where it was yes. like they both have the si similar dogs. It's like, are you kidding? Okay, me? That's, <laughs> yeah. that's what people do. Like, they're like, oh, we're gonna be we're in a dating. secret relationship. Couple so, rings, no, couple same dogs. dogs. <laughs> couple dogs. <laughs> couple dogs. Um, but they're they're really cute. I Canal uh, is is a good actor, and he was originally a singer. Um, he 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 played the the villain on Tharn Type. If you're curious as to why does this guy look familiar and he kind of looks like a Thai Charlie Cox in his stardust era like because he's put on a bit of weight since the Tharn type and so he's kind of filled out a bit and I was every time he like turns I'm like mm, that looks kind of like Charlie Cox this is fucking weird uh Turbo is trying he's trying his best <laughs> and we should all applaud his efforts with his attempt that he that he is making okay he's yeah. he's a young guy and he's doing his best so good job mm -hmm. <laughs> he, he makes a very beautiful woman like because there's this like a cross-dressing plot in it it makes me mad how good he looks as a woman <laughs> like i'm just like god damn it you're such a beautiful woman uh but the real reason to watch love stage is the brother like the whoever he is who plays the older brother of turbo's character snack nice absolute absolute fucking snack for and a second like a, for a second i thought that was his name no no <laughs> that, that is that you is his identity know, right? that is his identity he plays sort of like yeah. the you know the the brother complex character you know where mm. he's just like oh he's just like a little too obsessed with what his brother's up to mm. yeah but like there's mm -hmm. also like he he plays like a rock star and there's like the manager and like him and the manager have been having like a secret a secret thing for years but like nice. snack 
Okay, like as soon as he appeared, I was like, oh, okay, I've picked my favorite character. <laughs> the show is ridiculous. Um, how do I describe the show? So when these two guys were children, they were in a commercial together for like a wedding company. And uh, Turbo's younger version, um, the, the, the girl who was playing the flower girl never showed up and his parents are both actors. So the mother was like, just dress my son like a girl because he's like a really pretty boy and he can play the flower girl. So meanwhile, the actor playing the, the young ring bear falls in love with this little girl actress and then 10 you know like years later the wedding company wants to make like the ad again but with the same actors like playing the bride and groom and so now like they have to fess up that like it was a man the whole time like it was a little boy not a little girl so this like this actor is now like a really famous actor so he's like I'm so excited I finally get to like find this little, like this girl that I fell in love with like so many years ago and so when he first sees him he's dressed in drag so he's like you're the most beautiful woman like i'm so i'm so glad we're finally me and then of course it all very quickly falls apart when he realizes you're a man in a wig <laughs> and a very beautiful a very beautiful wig but then he's like why am i still like into because into the heart him. wants the, the heart, heart wants, like, <laughs> the, like he's, he's been yearning for so, so then of course he He's a bit of a creep about it. Like, I, I will admit, he's a bit creepy. It, but since it's a comedy, you just sort of are like, okay, like, all right, buddy. Like, you don't need to sniff that t-shirt. Move away. <laughs> Move away. Like, there's one scene where they, like, take photos together, and he's like, oh, can I get that one printed as as a poster? And I was, I was watching it with Ricky and Joy, our friends, and I was like... He definitely like hung that up and masturbated to that poster. Like 100, that's the character you're dealing with. But uh, it's a fun. It's stupid. It's stupid. It's stupid and fun. Uh, that's amazing. <laughs> I, think, I think that's it. I think that's all I'm watching. I, 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 I have a quick postscript for mine. Please do. Uh, I just wanted to mention that the other day Jesse recommended the movie Your Name, oh. and so I watched it. My, my library had it and so I went and grabbed it and it's beautiful and gorgeous mm -hmm. and everyone should watch good. your name you will probably really really enjoy so it good. I watched it three times in the theaters when it <laughs> oh I can imagine oh, I would I would love to see it in the theaters it's it's just it's it's gorgeous there's a comet involved but just the way the animation is like there's mm. a lot of the, the just thread beautiful. work is mm. really good. Yeah, yeah. It's just just a lot of color, and then the story is really cute. Oh, so like, so good. I really, really recommend your name. Um, it's animated, by the way, to be specific. Mm, yeah. And then I today I watched or yesterday I don't remember Weathering with You since it's oh, by yeah mm. same one. W which it was also really cute and really well done. But like your but name, your name, your name is one. Uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, so good. <laughs> so I, I wanted to mention that because really I. It's one of those things. It's like I will probably recommend to literally everybody. Like oh. I think it's. I'm so I, glad you liked it. I had a feeling, but like you never know. <laughs> you never know. It's, yeah, it's never one know. of those things. That, like, those, yeah. You you have life before your name, and then you have life after your name. Like, yeah. That's, no, I I that's still remember like going coming out of like the theater the first time, and I was like, oh my god, this is really good. Right. <laughs> and then I was like, well, I have to watch it again. There are like, some movies that are like that, right? Like you watch walk out of the early showing and you're mm -hmm. like, I could watch I could just go right movie. back in. Yeah. I could yeah. just buy so, another ticket and go right back yeah, and watch it again. Well, and so like I, I went ahead and like bought a fancy Blu-ray version and stuff, but I would see the reviews of, you know, even I was looking for product reviews, but people end up reviewing the yeah. show. It's like that's yeah. not really what yeah. I was looking for. But it was always, yeah, right when I watched it, I watched it to other like yeah. people would rewatch it. Like so I really, really do recommend it. I do think a lot of people would enjoy it. That's why I wanted mm -hmm. to make sure to say that. Weathering with you is good as well. Weathering with you is available on HBO Max if you have a subscription to that. Your name, it you're pretty much gonna have to rent it. Yeah, I don't, I mostly don't everywhere or like I, I i grabbed mine at my local library so it was free for me but. always yeah. check out your libraries my guys support your local library it's, it's fairly popular enough i feel like you could probably find like a cheap five dollar dvd of it yeah. too you know that like kind of really cheap 
even, even on Amazon, I think the DVD is like 10 bucks. Like if you're just mm. going for a DVD. So, and even for like the DVD Blu-ray set, like basic on, it's like 20 bucks. I mean, it's really not that. But if you want to watch it first, you know, it depends on how. Mm -hmm. I just highly recommend it. If you're curious, like what I mean by it being pretty, just go check out the trailer. Literally, you'll mm. then understand that's what it is. Yeah. And the soundtrack is uh, completely by Rad Wimps. Yes. They're amazing. It's great. So I, th I thought that was worth mentioning. Yes. What that lovely postscript. And with that, with this super mega long episode <laughs> of uh, what we're watching, uh, thank you for listening. Uh, what were you watching? Hit us up on Twitter. Let us know. Uh, it's always at Certified Nunas on our social media. I'm mostly Twitter and Instagram. Uh, if you want to listen to this podcast elsewhere, it's wherever podcasts can be found. But... If you're looking for links to everything that we talk about and time codes and all that shit, you got to go to certifiednews.com, our home on the web. Uh, we also have a Discord. There's links on the certifiednews.com, of course. Uh, and our Discord is hopping, okay? We've just <laughs> added, like, a new thing on it where when one of us or someone or any, even any of you on the Discord are, like, watching something, you can just stream it on the Discord and people can join you and chat about it. So we're going to be starting that up. And we got lots of discussions, lots of fun stuff. On the 30th, we have a live stream. We're doing a live stream, as we mentioned, uh, yeah. about semantic errors. So we will hopefully see you there on the 30th. You should come hang out on YouTube There's with us. There's another drama coming up really soon that we're going to be discussing yes, and watching. Yes, we are going to be... Should I say it? Should I yeah. announce? Okay, so we are going to be streaming the first episode of Kin Porsche over on Discord when it airs. Uh, on April 2nd, I do believe is the date that the first I think so, yeah. episode comes out. And then we are going to be doing a live stream uh, sort of debrief of it afterwards to discuss what we all thought of this spicy new show that's coming out. You know, it's a little, a little mafia AU for our <laughs> little, to whet our appetites, I guess. It's going to be fun. Uh, if you want to support our podcast, you can go to patreon.com slash certified Nunas to become part of our certified fan family. They are the people our fan, the people who support this podcast. They're our family on the web. We have like a private mm -hmm. movie night every night. <laughs> private. Oh. <laughs> private. Uh, this month, we're going to be watching uh, Red Carpet. Uh, it's a private, <laughs> a private showing of red carpet with the, with the certified found family. R a uh, rare, a rare find. A rare find. Let me tell you, we've been, I've been on the hunt. So, but it was for Jesse's birthday request, and I can never say no to that angelic little face. So, <laughs> I did my best to discover where to watch it. So I need my tan some movies. <laughs> That's right. So we're going to be watching Red Carpet. It's really good if you haven't seen it. So you should, uh, you know, join the found family and come hang out with us. And, you know, we love our fan family. They keep the lights on, as it were. And just we love seeing people who love our content and want to support us. And speaking of loving our content and wanting to support us, we are going to be doing a lot more stuff on our YouTubes. We're going to be doing a lot of live streaming and that sort of thing of all various types. And we would love it if you would go to our YouTube channel, the Certified Nunas YouTube channel, and maybe subscribe to it to, uh, you know, get notifications for when we're doing fun stuff because we're going to be doing lots of fun stuff in the future. Mm -hmm. uh, anyway, we hope you have a fantastic week. You stay safe, wash your hands, wear a mask, and of course, keep enjoying Asian entertainment. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. That, that might have been my messiest outro. <laughs> <laughs> I struggled. <laughs>